How's it going, people? Good to see you guys this morning. Let's welcome everybody in. I had a rough night. Oof, didn't get hardly any sleep. I was up at 3 o'clock taking ibuprofen. Uh, pulled a muscle on my side. Or is it possible to pull some fat? I pulled, I pulled a fat in my side while working. Um, and, man, whew, didn't get hardly any sleep. Um, anyway, we got Mike in the house. I gave you your 500 points already, Mike. Split, what's up? Liquid, and this is over on Twitch. Turtle Master, how's it going, bud? And then over on YouTube, we've got Dad the Psycho, Mix Master, James Payne. How is it going, guys? Thunder Gunner, what is up? Hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome morning. Turtle Master, I welcomed you in, didn't I? Where are you on Twitch? Yes, you're on. Yeah, okay. All right, we're on YouTube and Twitch this morning. Man, rough night, rough night. Oof. We're gonna hop over here. What was we fishing for? Red nose? Ah. Yeah, I was stubborn. My wife told me she was like, you need to take ibuprofen before you lay down. And I was like, I don't want to take ibuprofen because I'll be asleep anyway. And I just don't like taking medicine. That's just the way it is. And uh and then it was just inflamed and couldn't sleep and anytime I moved it just pulled on it and I was like oh man this sucks and it was just laying there and it was throbbing and so at three o'clock I finally got up and took me a ibuprofen next thing I know I'm waking up at 8 30 <clears throat> so that's why I'm late but we're not going anywhere today I feel like I'm in single player or something. No multiplayer's on. What's up, Raid? How's it going, buddy? Um, hop in mod chat. I'm in mod chat, Dad, if you want to hop in. Anybody out there on an early morning map? Well, actually... Let me throw a what time is it? Oh, it's sinking right now. It might I might be on an early morning map, so hold on a second. All right. We set up still? Yeah, number one. I haven't played since got off uh yesterday. Crash, how's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Uh, no, my server is uh 11 30 in the morning well mine is 10 and going down so i think i'm on an early morning server it hasn't synced up yet i might join you then if i can still watching it here 9 30 still going yeah it's going to be early morning i think unless it goes too, oh. unless it uh goes way too far Yeah, my game started crashing again. <laughs> oh, really? Thought we yeah, had that fixed. I thought so too. I, that first day after the patch, I didn't have any problems. Then the next day, one, and then another one, and then just now I tried to join you and it kicked me. It actually crashed. I crashed one time yesterday. I'm at seven thirty and still going. How's the hunting blind going? Well, the last time I had anything to do with it, Crash, was Thursday. Because I pulled this muscle or whatever I've done. i tell you what I'm worried of. I have mash in my stomach from a hernia repair a few years ago. I hope that I didn't tear something loose from that, is what I'm hoping. But uh, I have... A I have all the walls put together. The only thing I don't have is, you know, I have to wait till I get it up there and piece it all together because I have each wall built 
separately and I'm going to take it up one wall at a time. And then after I get it up there, I got to, you know, shoot a few screws in it to put it together, get it leveled and squared and all that stuff. And then I just have to, I have to put the plywood on it. So plywood in the roof. So that's where we're at. I'm at 555 when it finally stopped. That's a good time. I just, I can't join you. I guess everybody got in there already. Uh, yeah, your server's full now. Uh, I don't think it's... I'm just showing uh, seven people in here. Every time I try to join, it says server full. And I don't know any of these people in here. What time is yours? I, I had just joined another one, and the time's changing right now. Let me... Uh... Yeah, it's still saying you're full. Let me see what my time is looking like anyways. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I've not got a single bite since I've been in here. I'm at one o'clock and getting later. One o'clock in the afternoon and getting later. Yeah, I'll try to join in a little while if there's room. Guess who's picking up challenges this time? This guy. Hey, did I tell you that uh, that LaBeo, the red nose I caught, it was a record. Oh, was it? Nice. Yeah. They got that put on. They posted it last night for me. And right after your uh, stream ended, I went to that other spot where you can catch the diamond eel just south of where we were. Uh -huh. My first cast, I caught another diamond red nose. Nice. I had some luck on my side at that moment. Well, we're going to be going for smallmouth yellowfish since that's one of the. Oh. Well, I'm actually that's what it's one of my challenges too. I was going to tell you, you know that waterfall that we fished by. Yep. You're actually by it. It looks like. No, I'm that. Uh, you I'm can at the get diamonds there. You can. Oh. Yeah, you can. Yeah, that whole lake, this whole lake, they've got it squared, uh, the whole lake here. Well, it was like when you, when it, you know, when the game first came out, there was like, everybody was saying just the north side of that right, lake, you know, right. by that river. But now I've seen diamonds caught at this side too. So I'm by the waterfall right now doing that challenge. Uh, the gold challenges, I have seven left. I've not gotten a single bite right here. Where? What time is it now on your server? It is fourteen hundred. Well, I'll just join on you. I don't care. I don't. I don't even know what time's good anyway for these. Well, uh, well, I was to say that when I caught it at the eleven o'clock time or whatever, it was a good. It was a good temp, but I don't know what it is now. I haven't caught one yet. Welcome in, Pimp. How's it going over on YouTube? I had one follow me just now. I think well, it was a large mouth hoe because it was too slow. I don't know if I am set up for the small mouth yellow nose. Yellow nose. <laughs> <sighs> Spinning rig, 8.82 .8 pounds. Let's see. Yeah. yeah, that's a large mouth. That's too slow yeah that's that what eight pound line 8.81 or something like that for the yellow nose yeah. gold yeah doing good man doing good just trying to get some of these challenges done I'll do that yellow note, yellow, <laughs> yellow fish <laughs> first. <Words> since, be <laughs> I'll get that yellow fish first because it's, we got a challenge for it. Hmm. Yeah, the dailies, that was the one I picked. I 
picked the three gold purple labeo and I got those. Can't get eight pound braided, can you? No, I think it's floral carbon. Which makes it fun with all the largemouth yellow. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Let's see, what does this yellow fish, I forget, it's popper in it. You know, spanner. Spanner and popper. And what size? Three. Well, that's what I usually use as a three. We got 19 votes on our end game rewards for certain achievement. Yeah, we need to get more than that. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to put it on YouTube. Here's the link. If you want to go and vote for that idea in game rewards for certain achievements, I'll put that on Twitch and YouTube. We have 19 votes. I'd really like to see that voted up more. If you feel that we should have like a special set of clothing and cosmetics that's unlocked by catching certain size fish. Like catch a 10 pound large mouth and you unlock a set of gloves that you can't get any other way, you know, or hat, whatever. I would like to see a seasonal outfit, like each season, like every three months, there's a set of clothing that's special that you can only unlock by catching certain size fish gives you yeah. something to strive for you know thank you so much pimp appreciate that bud what was i doing oh hook size look at hook size i usually run a three for those if you're going for the small mouth but... three yeah you're right <clears throat> all right size three spinner Got to make sure before I leave. There it is. Now, do I have a size three? Hold on. Do I have a size three? Um, popper on me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, my temperatures are a little bit on the warm side, about a degree too hot. by the waterfall anyways i haven't gone on the north side yet got a, i got a frog there's the popper i'm good got everything <clears throat> this is a tough gear challenge though yeah it is i lucked out with mine <laughs> i really did i got it pretty quick <clears throat> yeah everything i'm catching is about one degree too hot as long as i can get a gold yeah, i've got nothing but silver so far but the last time i was over here i got a bunch of golds you cast at the waterfall or I cast around my boat. I'm sitting right in the middle, and I cast all the way around, and I've been catching them in every direction. I'm right beside you, so. Using a spinner? Yeah, number three spinner right now. I have the luxury to switch into red worm if I want to, though. But well, that's my first tiger fish. Same temperatures, though. 
Yeah, that's the thing. I don't have the luxury of switching to load. I have to catch it on. I, I know. I, rig. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm done with those things. I mean, they really weren't that bad. I mean, I'm complaining, but they, you know, I, there's a couple on Spain that I found much harder than this. Like that, the rud, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'd rather have that a challenge. Rug. I like it when there's a challenge. Now, I don't like it when it's bugged like the green sunfish was. Oh, that's nuts. Yeah, that was... I almost stopped playing because of that. <laughs> Liquid, you evil creature. You know, I actually pushed the button to jerk, but since I'm on a, a spinner, it didn't. Mike got me good. The best I've ever been gotten yesterday. <laughs> because he somehow miraculously got uh, timed it to where right after I got a nibble. <laughs> so he had that already so he had already pushed the button before I got a nibble. And the stars aligned, and it went off right after the nibble, so I thought I had an actual bite. What's sad is you were going for something important, you know? Yeah. And he got you. Sitting there on one of those fish, red nose, waiting on a gold red nose, laying on the bottom. I get a nibble, and then Mike's notification went off, and I jerked and missed it. And Mike... <laughs> I could picture Mike just rolling in the floor. I was. <laughs> that was perfect timing. It was. I stream marked it. I'm going to have to make it into like a little short or something. Yeah, that'd be a good short. <laughs> Mike's still laughing. <laughs> Me too, Mike. <laughs> There's a six pounder. Damn, first fish you completed a challenge. What'd you have on there? <laughs> the four pound weight. Oh. <laughs> Look here at Mike. I'm glad my pain causes you joy, Mike. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, that was a once in a lifetime uh, get on that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have one hooked right now? Yeah. Okay. Ten and a half pounds silver. They're getting bigger. Oh, the temperature's better right there, too. Oh, yeah. That's right in. Temperature came down a degree. What do you need the temperature to be? Uh, 81 1 is the high, and that's what that one was. And I think the low is 76 3 or something like that. I feel like I've got that written down somewhere. Yeah, we were talking about it uh, a couple streams ago. Man, it looks like you got one, huh? Yeah. 7.81 pounds. What was your temp? Oh, uh, 84.6. Wow, you just passed it. That's the same spot I just caught that one that was 81.1. But I'm on the edge of this lighter green color. So if it, you know what I mean? Like if it was close. Yeah. To, so I'm going to cast toward the middle of this. Yeah, I did notice that. A couple of the ones I caught that were high were like right at the edge of the water. Oh yeah, we're in the waterfall. Just travel to that northeast lake, that point of interest where you can summon a boat. Yeah, small mouth. Look here at Dampton lake. with the diamond tiger fish. Yeah, he's at the spot where I caught man. I went up and caught another one by the bridge. 
a bigger one. It's a good spot too, right there by that point of interest on the bridge. Yeah. Just south of it. That's yeah. a good spot. Do you ever fish right off the bridge? I did a couple times. I just hate being that high above the water. I'd rather be in a boat. I don't know. I kind of like being able to see the fish, though. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of like the dam on Spain, you know. That was always fun until they put them as bottom only, you know. But, right. I mean, I don't know. I just, being that high above the water, it's hard to tell the size of the fish, in my opinion. <laughs> you know what I mean? When you're in the water, you can yeah. see it better. Love you, dear. There's a lot of people still do it, though. They fish off that bridge constantly. Yeah. At what point do they go gold? Good morning, Dre Talk. How you doing, buddy? Oh, I can't remember. You would think I'd know that with all the gold I've caught. Yeah. It seems like it's around 10. 11 somewhere in there well i have to use 8.82 pound line it's usually near half i don't know there's a eight, what you know 10 11 sounds about right i mean somewhere in there i don't i can i just caught a 10 and a half pound silver a minute ago so it's it's somewhere around that 11 mark i think Oh, where are you at, Dre Talk? It's been raining here all week, but I see sunshine. My goal by the end of the week, well, I don't know what kind of weather we're going to get, but if we get good enough weather to work outside, I would love to get my shooting box built, completed up on the hill. Yeah, it'd be nice to get it done before it starts getting hot. Huh? Yeah. We're already warming up. We're supposed to be 80 something today. Northern Pennsylvania? Well, you're not too far away from me. I tell you where I stayed at, was it last year or the year before? Uh, Erie. I stayed in Erie, Pennsylvania there uh, one night. On my way, where in the world did we go to? Oh, uh, we went to uh, Niagara Falls. We stayed there to kind of break the trip up. <clears throat> that looks like a decent size one on your line. Uh, it might be a big silver. Yep, yeah, man. That's bigger than any of the nah. ones I've caught so far. Erie's yeah, about three and a half hours from you. Have you tried the temperatures on the northern end? Not since we started, no. I can shoot over there real quick and check them. Cause, I mean, I'm still catching fish that are about a degree too high. We might just be we're, we're at that hot time of day though right now yeah it'll start cooling down here at some point yeah late afternoon and evening that I, I have a good luck with the smallmouth shaking uh, tugboat right. thank you so much for the follow over on twitch another nine pound silver I do notice my temperatures do seem to be a little bit better toward the waterfall. I might actually move my boat a little closer to the waterfall. Hey, go ahead. Move wherever you want to move, man. I'll, I can fish around you. I was thinking about shooting over to the north side there, but I'd really like to get a dime on this side. I've got a, a couple of them up there already. Oh, you just cut my line. 
<laughs> that would suck if they implemented something like that. Oh, I, I'm so glad they don't have that. People would be doing it on purpose. Oh, they did just have a I, fish bite under your boat. You probably weren't playing when you could bump someone's boat and caught and knock them out of catching a fish. No, but when I first started playing, I did get hit by somebody's jeep one time and got pushed into the water. Well, it's not supposed to be able to happen. <laughs> I was hooked into a diamond lake trail. And I know that because of the tension and everything. Yeah. And um, I was catching a diamond lake trout, and someone come over in their boat and hit me, and it cuts the line. The fit. Oh man. Well, it did back then. Like now they fixed it to where you just go through somebody. You know. Back then, oh, that man. that was a thing. You could actually hit someone's boat and knock them out catching a fish. I can see people doing that all the time just to mess with people. Oh, man. Yep. There's always that person out there. Yeah, there is. You'll always come across at least one that do, does stuff like that. I was, uh, I, tell you, I tell you, the worst one, I was on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and I had, oh, am I that close to the waterfall? I had spotted a uh, level five, uh, diamond, diamond, uh, mountain goat. And I was at two fawns. And, uh, so I, I was on multiplayer, which I rarely, hey. I rarely ever play multiplayer on the hunter because of stuff like this. Yeah. And, um, I had spawned at that outpost that you have to walk so far to get to the lake there. And so, when I play multiplayer, I make sure that I'm not going around somebody else. I give everybody their space. You know, somebody else right. is hunting an area. I don't go there. So there was nobody there. And so I walked all the way there, spotted this level five mountain goat, and was, you know, stalking it, trying to get a, a better shot. And this guy comes up behind me with his 22. And just starts shooting with the, oh, man. with his with the twenty two all over the place and scares it off just to be a butthole. Yeah, that's so, why I didn't play it. I, I did multiplayer one time, and somebody stole one of my kills, and that was it. I stayed single player from there out. Yeah, that's me. Like, which. I I'm usually like setting up some some grind for some diamond I don't have or something like that, and so you want your respawns to count toward your map, not somebody else's when you're you know right doing that, and so for me I typically just stay on single player on the hunter. Yeah, and I'm not going to invite somebody else into my map to mess up my grind, you know, somebody come and shoot like females or right. where I'm herd managing and they'll shoot the wrong thing or whatever and mess my grind up or whatever. So yeah, I'm kind of bummed about my, my uh, file being corrupted. I wouldn't mind playing that again, but I'm not starting from the beginning all over again. I'm way too far into it to do that. Oh, there's a 10-pounder, but it didn't make nine. I had diamond eel yesterday, then somebody came and stood in front of my face, and me and Crash play together. I only have it set to friends. Oh, you can set it to where only friends can join you? I didn't know that. How do you do that? Yeah, no doubt. That's not a thing, is it? I didn't think it was. I thought that's what they were trying to do. Man. He says that you can set it to where only friends can join you. Hmm. I mean, maybe it's possible. I've never really tried. I just, I thought you couldn't do it. I thought that was what they're going to try to do when you can start setting the time and all that. Yeah, I don't see an option anywhere that keeps random people from joining multiplayer on. 
on the angler. I know you can on the hunter, but you said diamond to eel, so I. Yeah, yeah, that's what threw me off. I know on the hunter you can. On the hunter, you can fix it to where it's friends only, but. On the angler, you can't stop anybody. That's on the hunter, though, Mix. You're talking about, you said diamond to eel. You had diamond to eel yesterday, then somebody came and stood in front of my face, and me and Crash play together. I only have it set to friends. What's confusing me, though, is you said you had diamond to eel yesterday i know you can set it to friends only on the hunter oh they probably went and played the hunter after he caught his diamond eel because i know they they went to the hunter for a while yesterday yeah you've confused me <laughs> <laughs> with the diamond eel statement that confused me But you you can't control right now at least who joins you on multiplayer on the angler. But they're working on that. <clears throat> yeah, because they were saying something about that's how you're going to be able to pick your time. You can do like a, a friends lobby and then you guys can pick your time you want it to be or whatever. Yeah. If they can get that work out anyways. As long, I'm all for it. Being able to have some control over the time and stuff. But here's my thing. If it puts it to where people can start modding maps, then I don't want it. Oh, no. Me neither. I would rather just keep it like it is. Yeah, seriously. If once people can start either. cheating, if... Well, weren't they doing that on a hunter for the longest time? Oh, they're still doing it. Are they? People, because people on single player, well, I guess they can somehow do it on multiplayer because I've joined people's maps that were cheating on multiplayer. Uh, we yeah. don't know when they're, when they're doing that. They're working on it, shaking. But that's what's so tough about it is finding a way to let players change the time but not cheat. Nice, Justin. Glad you caught that diamond uh, walleye. Just as soon as you give people too much control over maps, they start cheating. They yeah, I'm with you. I'd keep it like it is if that's going to happen. If it's going to give people control over the map to where they can mod their fish populations, then I don't want time changes. Just leave it like it is. <clears throat> we won't be able to you know all these fun tournaments and stuff people have and these competitions we have and all this stuff and everybody hosts all these different little tournaments and their discords and all that stuff all that stuff would have to stop if uh, people start cheating yeah king of the catch all that stuff all, everything away. yeah because nobody I know what's legit anymore What's up, little dude? How's it going, buddy? So if I cast, I've noticed about the last two or three fish in a row, if I cast right at the waterfall, I get tiger fish. Yeah, I just got that too. I'm actually casting away from it now. Well, but a little while ago, I was getting nothing but smallmouth yellowfish. So well, now I'm getting another tiger fish. I might go to the other side, the other end over there. Yeah, it might not be a bad idea. They're more consistent on that north side, it seems like. If you get real close to that river, their smallmouth yellowfish are very consistent right there. Ah, see, I just cast it away and caught one. 
Oh, wow. Temperature is way too hot, though. Yeah. I'm up to 85 degrees right there. How close am I to the edge? Oh, yeah. Okay. I would have been right in the shallow. Time of day is it anyways? 16. It should be cooling down now. I feel like this is a tiger fish. Yeah, I wish there was a lure you could use that would separate those. I mean, I like catching them, but not when I'm focused on a certain fish. Can't wait for the new legendaries. Uh, I missed the tackle box stream. Did they mention anything about that? Anybody watch it? I watched part of it, but I didn't. I didn't catch them saying anything about it. I'm going to say either this, what Tuesday or next Tuesday. What's that? That we get the new legendaries. Oh, yeah. Probably next Tuesday. I'm more excited about what they're going to do with the souvenir shop. I want to see what we get. Yeah. I hope it's something good. I mean, I like the legendaries too. Don't get me wrong. I just... I like new equipment. New gear. For me, the legendaries are really something that... Unless they put some type of new gear that requires legendary tokens. Uh, after I catch them the first time, I'm over it. Yeah. Yeah. There better be a reason to grind for them because I'm not going to either. I don't even fool with it right now. Like the old ones. Oh, I know. Me neither. I got so many tokens just sitting around. I don't have nothing to spend them on. And I don't want to buy, like I said, the mask and all that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't care about that kind of stuff, so... Well, that's because we've got everything. You know, other players that don't have everything, I can see it, but they'll get to that point too where we're at and we just don't need anything yet. So that's why we need something in the souvenir shop. I don't care if it's a mask, outfit, something. I'd be happy, like you said, with some like different skins on poles and reels, you know, something. Yeah. Oh, it's a large mouth. Dang it. That's a good size large mile for that line you're on, though. <laughs> hey, it was. Uh, I'm going to head on up. I think I'm going to move up to the north side. Moving yeah, on I don't blame it. you. I'm just going to fast travel. Yeah, man. Water temperature is way high at the edges, and I'm not getting the bite in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting around 84 degrees on everything. Well, I caught a few there that were right at 81, but since then, it's been 84, 85. I see you over there, Thunder Gunner, trying to sneak in a diamond on us so he can say, Hey, boys, this is where you need to be fishing. I see what you're doing. <laughs> quietly he's over like there he he's quietly over there in his little secret spot not going to tell us anything about it tim wise how's it going buddy i see you i see what you're doing over here thunder gunner your secret is not safe with me buddy <laughs> Thunder Gunner, you don't hear my boat, do you? I don't hear I don't hear yours, but I don't want to aggravate you either. Let me know if my boat, if you can hear my boat. I haven't been noticing that much lately. I've not. I've Maybe not. They... Fingers crossed. I've not I've not heard the boat noise. Maybe they got that straightened out a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. That's a big one too, man, because especially when we're all together. I know. 
Um, shaking tugboat. I love South Africa. Oh God, it's 85 degrees here. Yeah, you got that little deep strip. You can manage to cast into that. You're probably parked right on top of it. It's, yeah, that dark strip right there. It's hard to get them out of that, but I have <sighs> you cast right along it. Which I just need a gold. Right. You can get that any direction, temperature or whatever. Well, uh, also, um, where are we at? 49, 25, 75 more subs, and we're going to be doing a 12 hour celebration stream. I'm at 83.5 degrees up here. Um, for hitting 5,000 subscribers on. Where do you at now? You got 75 to go? Yeah, I'm at, read it. I'm at 49, 25. So 75 more will be at 5,000 YouTube subscribers. Man, we're 400, a little, a little over 400 away from catching my Twitch. That's what I started out on. You grow a lot faster on YouTube than you do Twitch. Which I guess it helps because of the videos. Uh, yeah, I found you on YouTube. That's where I. That's why I've been here the most of the time. I I visited you on Twitch a couple times, but mostly YouTube. Back when you had them separated, you know. Right. Yeah. One minnow. I wish I could use minnow. Tackle Tuesday is a huge help. It is, Mike. It is. We're tossing around some different ideas of doing some team stuff. For Tackle Tuesday. I still like my boat idea. You and your partner. <laughs> Pushing the boat. <laughs> I think that'd be fun to watch. That would be. Yeah, Johnny's lobbying for Spotted Bass Hard. I think he's got 16, <clears throat> 16 Spotted Bass Diamonds now. <laughs> I was like, yeah, oh yeah, you would want to do uh, Spotted Bass, wouldn't you, Johnny? <clears throat> I'm... I'm going to have to do that soon, man. I, I really would like to get in the middle of that lake. Because, I mean, I catch dimes from the edge, but I bet they're better in the middle. Oh, you I just mean, keep, proof of that, I You guess. just keep <laughs> catching them. Like the silvers. Silvers galore. Because think about all the ones you can't reach from the edge. Oh, I know. Like the gear challenge reel, I could barely cast out, like, I think it was like 70-something feet, you know? But on my normal stuff I use, I can get 140 feet out of it, you know, so. Oh, he's on his 17th now. 17th. <laughs> well, I'm willing to make a trade. We can do spotted bass if I get Doan as my partner. <laughs> Starting to sound like you want Johnny as your partner. <laughs> I think to make it fair... That me and Doan and Pro XCK should be on the same team. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> it much yeah, longer to push the fair. boat to the water. <laughs> Sounds fair to me, man. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fair. Two reigning champions and, uh, a freaking madman when it comes to diamonds. Yeah, yeah uh, Pro XCK would have been the champion if he hadn't missed like three or four weeks of competition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's something else, man. <laughs> he's where I've got most of my diamond locations from. Yeah. Lord, man. Is the temperature ever going to come down? I don't this might know. be an early morning spot. 
I'm thinking that it probably is an early morning spot. Man, I tell you what, I mean, I'm even getting 84 degrees at the waterfall now. It was an earlier time. Oh, the Tackle Tuesday stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back. Um, hmm. And and he found another uh, small bass, bass uh, diamond location, too, that I was trying for. for Dry long. talk, you know, here's an idea, too. Just to throw it out there. To talk around. Are you still here, Dre Talk? If if not, I'll just type it in later. <clears throat> uh oh. What if I snap in here? here? Hmm. Oh, you're still here? Well here's an idea too. And this doesn't doesn't have to be for like the official competition or it can, whatever, but just an idea. What if each of us that are in Tackle Tuesday grab one person from our community that's not in Tackle Tuesday and we have like a, a you know, a two-man team. Uh, oh, no. I'm going to get snapped. We have like a two-man team competition with one of our viewers. That'd be something to get the community involved. Why is it not snapping my line yet? It's going to. Yep. I don't know what I hooked Oh, you into. are in your school? I think that would be awesome. Like, you know. Pro-am comp. Well, I mean, I wouldn't call me a pro or nothing, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I could. Yeah. Yeah. Pro and amateur fishing together. I mean, that's something or, something to discuss. You know what I mean? That sounds like a pretty good idea. I mean, be, it's different. Yeah, throw it in there. And, and, and mix it with the idea that one of you had, it might have been you, I can't remember who had the idea, but like where we take each person on the team has a different target fish. You could do that. There's all kinds of different ways to do it. Or you could fish in the same boat for the same thing. Or you can split it up and for example, right here just because I caught a smallmouth yellowfish. Let's say my target's smallmouth yellowfish, and if Dad were fishing with me, his target would be largemouth yellowfish. And then we would take the biggest one that we caught of each of those, and that would be our combined weight. You know. You could do something like that, or or you could just do the big uh, target the same fish, and who each person keeps the biggest one that they catch for combined weight. Yeah, I was thinking Scarecrow or somebody come up with that. That little idea. There's something. Looks kind of lazy. I bet it's a tiger fish or a largemouth. Is it jumping? Because when you catch the smallmouth yellowfish, they jump. If it's not jumping, it's probably uh, a tiger fish. I'm pretty sure it's a tiger fish. It swam lazily over to it before it bit. And so I was like, that's either yeah. a tiger fish or a largemouth. 
<clears throat> uh, if you notice that when you're catching the smallmouth, the smallmouth actually jump once you catch them. They yeah. jump a lot. So you can tell right away if you got one. Yeah, it's going to break me off. Got all the gear yeah. challenges done now, Dar. Thanks for your guide. Did the one that I put out that had the four fish in it uh, help? I'm getting ready to put another one out uh, with four, four more fish. And probably, probably come out tomorrow. Daggone it. It's going to be another big fish. Well, I don't know. I might actually get this one in. Yeah, I'm going to get this one in. There we go. Finally, a bite on bait. There we go. Location challenges too. Nice. Well, I'm jealous because I don't have... I don't have 1,000 rep yet. I think I'm sitting at 160 or something like that. Oh, left to go. Yeah, I've got seven fish, 20 each, 140. Yeah, sitting at 860. I didn't tell you what I did on that, man. I, I got all the way up to 980 points and couldn't figure out what I missed. And it ended up being the location challenges for the moguls or the moguls. <laughs> I didn't, I somehow I completely missed them. <laughs> Dang on, tiger fish. Can't you catch a uh, smallmouth on up this river or no? I don't know how far up you can. Are you I still catching smallmouth over there where you're at? I think to that first bend in the river, I've seen people catching them, but I don't know about beyond that. I drove my boat up there to get to that, uh, that lookout tower up there. James Joe, that's the Africa rod, and I've got just like the 8.81 or 8.82 pound reel on it uh, because I'm doing this challenge. I think it, what's it called? Is it, is it the scope? I think it might be the scope reel on the African rod. I'm just pretty much leaving the African rod on and putting whatever reel I need for the challenges on there. Oh, Jerry says you can get them all the way up to the lookout tower. Now I might start. What I was just talking about. I might start moseying on it through there if things don't start changing here. That's the thing about the location challenges. You'll find most of them on your own as you go, but there's always that two or three that you miss somewhere. And so when you have yeah, when you have that map. You can look at it and figure out which ones they are. I don't know how I did it, but I was looking at your map and I had still missed them. And then I was like, oh my goodness. And I. What's up, Poika? How is it going out there? Well, there's a smallmouth yellowfish. It's actually a PB for me. 85 degrees. God, it's not getting any cooler. Tell you what, I'm gonna go on up through here. I was going backwards. All right, is there like a little? I'm gonna go up to like right there. I probably shouldn't be attempting this. Not in a John boat. No, I went up there in a bass boat all the way to the lookout tower. As a matter of fact. I didn't come across anything that stopped me. Oh, good. Mix is telling me. I'll have to try it some other time. I'm already up to here. Yeah, that's that thin spot I was talking about, Mix. That deeper little section of water. What are you talking about? 
back there where you were, you know how you got that thin strip of deep water? You got if you can cast in that little area, your temperatures get better. Well, I mean it. I know it's a difficult one to do, but you'll get them from that little area sometimes, and the temperature will be better. I spent a lot of time catching yellowfish in that area. I saw that. It's rare you get one straight from that spot, though, but you will. Try this little deep area here. I might get the temperatures need. Well, I'm just hoping all these fish I'm catching is going towards spawning me a diamond. Because this temperature still is off. into something here i don't know what it is yet go to your marker just up from there poika thank you so much for the sub Go to the bush in the water, right side. <clears throat> well, I've caught something here. It's a large mouth or a small mouth. Oh, it's a 10.24. Hey, what? I'm going to stay right here for a minute. Yeah, that might, is that your biggest one so far? Or yeah, that's close? my personal best, actually. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, I don't have a gold. Silver is the best I've got for the small meal. Oh, that's right. You never went for diamonds on that. you just been doing your challenges, huh? I just... Yeah, I've, that's all I've been doing. The only diamonds that I like really went for before I started my challenges, I wanted a tiger fish and a sharp tooth catfish. So I went and got those diamonds and then I started on my challenges. All right. So Jerry, you're saying to go like over here in this bend a little bit. You're saying toward toward this brush in the water right here? The money spot, huh? All right. Well, can you get dimes there or is it just gold? Right there and up to the bush. And get dimes. Wow, I didn't know you can get them up that far. Oh, this one looks kind of big. Probably a large mouth. Yeah, based on that tension. Eighty-two point seven. It's dropped a little. Oh, 
Oh, no. I just got my first gold smallmouth down here. Nice. Empty. Is that Empty by the waterfall? Out. Yeah, but I'm casting towards that dock where one of the challenges is. G-Man? No, nothing good yet. Nothing good yet, buddy. We're into these harder challenges now, so... What's happening, G-Man? How you doing? I think G-Man was there when I went and the both those diamonds yesterday. Uh-oh. What we got going on here? I have a feeling this might be something other than smallmouth. I've never fished up there. I don't know what you can catch in that. Sorry, shaking tugboat, but the ads helped me give me a little bit of income, so... Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tiger fish, I think. I'm good after your stream. I caught my dime red nose. I did see. I did see both of Dad's dimes. Nice. Yeah, he was he was fishing over there with us when I caught that record one, and then afterwards, he came over where I was at when I caught that other one. Yeah, Les, we're not going to know what this is. Oh, it's going to school you. Yep. Uh, Yeah, you know, I started getting a little more aggressive with the drag. I'm at 65 percent, and yeah, you know, I thought I'd get back. I thought I had tired, gotten it tired, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to get aggressive with it and risk breaking the line because it's going to spool me if I don't. So I'm either gonna snap it myself or it's gonna snap it. Man, <laughs> you had that thing pretty red for a while there. I did. I'm just uh, there's, you know, man, it snapped. I, it was going to spool me at any se second, so I was almost to the point to where I was going to tire it out there. <clears throat> Does finding the cat's chest go towards rip? No, it doesn't. Not on. Boy, they got a lot of those around. Yeah, yeah, they're just. I thought they might have been tied to something, but they're not. When I first started buying the pictures, them. aren't even tied to rep. I thought that's what I was missing was the pictures, and I uh, went and grabbed all of them, and I only well, I only needed two more, but I got them, and it didn't do anything. It was just those two challenges that I didn't complete for the the main mobile. story missions. No, the you know the photos. That's main story mission. That's got rip tied to it. I no, I don't mean taking pictures. I'm talking about the drawings of the animals. Oh yeah, the collectibles. Yeah. Right, the co collectibles. Collectibles and, and I maybe they did. No, nah. it wasn't those. Just the challenges in the main story missions. Yeah. Kicking wing. Uh, no, they've not said. I'm predicting, not this Tuesday, but next. But that's, I don't have any basis for that, just personally. It's usually around two weeks after it comes out, isn't it? Yeah. We don't have a lot of maps to base that on, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm basing it on Spain, really. <laughs> 
Because when I started playing, uh, Norway was already out. Yeah. I just think I heard somebody say that at some point. I might get this one. And if it if this one is a small mouth, we've done it. <laughs> well, hopefully it is. Temperatures are starting to come down over here finally. Yeah, they should as it's getting lighter. And I'm surprised I put a minnow on here and I'm not really catching very many tiger fish. Yeah, that is surprising. Normally they don't leave you alone once you do that. I usually do a red worm, but I figured I'd try a minnow for a little while. We yeah, got it. There you go. Got it. It was <laughs> ten point eight six gold. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I say that, I get a tiger fish. <laughs> well, congratulations on that one. That wasn't too bad for you. wasn't too bad. This isn't the only time I've gone for that one, though. Yeah, that's true. All right, so let's pick us another one out. What are we going for now? I have six left. Smallmouth bass gear challenge. 3.31 pound line. Do I have that on me? That's a spinning rig with 3.31 pound line. Yeah, but those are really an early morning fish. Yeah. I mean, you might be able to pull off the gold, but... I don't have it on me anyway. Uh, Canary Kerper, one pound line, two... Now those you can get pretty much any time. Yeah, I'm telling you, if you do that one, go to that pond with oh, the island. Oh, there's a three pound know, one. Oh, okay. That's yeah, we can do spot. that. Let's see. Uh, which one? If you're doing the canary. No, nah, I need to. A... I need to do. The, I've got the three point three one pound line on me, and I've got two. Oh, um. I've got three fish left that need that, so I think I'll go back to this red nose since I'm already set up for it. Uh, you see that diamond marker you've got just north of where you are right now? There's like a little deep puddle. Yeah. That's where I caught that second diamond red nose. Not that one, but the one further north where they caught the diamond eel at. Oh, right there? It's, yeah, that one. That's where I caught that second diamond red nose. So you might want to try there, too, because I do catch a lot of them there, too. I'm going to try right off this dock, too. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> they just Nice, Jerry Calls. Less 86. I need to give you some... Uh... Went. Yeah, Jerry, you were definitely right about that one. There you go, bud. Yeah, G Man, that's. G-Man caught his diamond at that spot I was just telling you about, too. Well, let's see why. I'll just fish off the dock. Yep. Good to knock some of those challenges out. Hmm. 
And what time is it anyway? 1730. Look at the pick. What in Discord? Wheels. Hey, why you gotta be so cruel? Hey, not for nothing, but you do have a bottom rig on right now, right? Yeah. Right where I caught mine, yeah. Yeah, that's where I caught. That, hey, he's uh, got a two there. He's got a diamond marker in this picture. I'm looking at straight left of that lookout tower in that river, all the way up there. For uh, smallmouth yellow, wow. Yeah, straight left from that lookout tower, yeah, all the way up that far. Wow. Right. That's wow. I would have never thought to look up there. Might be worth trying, but I want to get a diamond at this waterfall first because I saw Pro XCK pulling a couple of them here. I can never get my temperatures right. Here's something. I have to put a marker right there. I'll definitely try that someday. That little stretch of deep water by the outpost or the out lookout. Either got a dime or I got another large mouth. Yeah, Pro XCK, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe his Red Fox video is what helped me to get my first Red Fox diamond. I struggled so hard getting that first Red Fox diamond. I had to grind it up. All right, zip it. You, don't, you can't even zip it. Zip. Back Look, all ladies and gentlemen of the jury, exhibit A. Number two, would you please back Look, me up? Look, I'm zippy long stockings. Ugh, I can't. When a problem comes along, you must zip it. Zip it good. Found, would you please do high pin the wall? Mita hiyoto. Subtitle Zip it. I'm just trying zip. to. Zip. Would you like to have a suckle of my zipper? I want zip. you. Stop. Oh, really? Zip it. This zip it. Oh. Zip it. You know what? You're like a child. Talking. If you just one time. Yeah, I said the forbidden word, Red Fox. You got me. You got me. been so long since i've been on the hunter i forgot i'm not allowed to say red fox i might have been a little obsessed with them for a little bit and if you look over my right shoulder here i have a picture of a red fox on the wall there they were the bane of my existence for a long time i think ed and o ed and uni pitched in and got me that uh, red fox picture over my right shoulder there. Because of how much trouble the red fox gave me. <clears throat> Darth, I don't know if this will help you or not, but if you look straight to your right <laughs> and cast out as far as you can cast, that's where I got that diamond red nose on that dock. But yes, out towards that.
I mean, you might be able to catch one straight off of it. Just... Yeah, exactly. That direction. Yeah, so we had this little thing back when I was strictly over on Twitch. Anytime I said the word Red Fox, someone would zip me with the Dr. Evil sound. <laughs> and I wasn't allowed to talk. And so Mike, who's been in my channel forever, doesn't forget. Is a mind like a steel trap. <laughs> Mike's been sitting there like this with his finger on it. Like, say it, say it, say it. Only uh -oh. to things that make me chuckle. <laughs> oh, what do I got? Look That's here at the smallmouth yellowfish diamond. 18.97. Jeez, old Pete. Where are you at, bud? You still at that waterfall? Yeah, just caught it right at the waterfall, too. You have the patience and of a the saint. This one, 80.9 degrees. See what I'm facing right now? That's where I caught it. Yep. It's crazy. And this one's 80.9 degrees. It, the, everything else has been about 82 to 83. And this one was the right temperature. <laughs> Otherwise, my memory resembles Dory from Finding Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, <that's> <laughs> kicking wing, Darth, you can expect my friend request. <laughs> that's funny. I like that. <laughs> uh, which one are you? Kicking wing. <laughs> All I have to do is just tab out and I get a bite. Secret trick. Yeah, that's pretty consistent. <laughs> that and a, announce to the world that you're fishing for something else well might as well see if i can get another one now i wish i would have stayed here when i first started fishing here because man i fished here for quite a while when the map first came out I didn't see, unless your name's something different, Kicking Wing, I didn't see. I didn't see, I didn't see your request. This one, I think, I think this is a purple. It might be, they got those there too, but I'll tell you what, that red nose on that challenge will peg you out quite a bit. We'll go one more here and then I'll move up to that other spot. Kicking wing nine nine nine. I didn't see it. Oh, there it is. Uh oh, I'm just glad to keep doing this. I'm getting another bite. <laughs> This looks like a large mouth here.
Congrats on that diamond. How close was that to record? Did they... uh, it wasn't my biggest one. Oh. I don't know. I, 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 I really rarely do the record check. I just, I happen to remember the Labeo because I caught one that was close to it. So that's why I went and checked on that one, and, and it was. But uh, let me see. My uh, my biggest smallmouth is 20.19. Mild spicy, yeah. how's it going? I'm oh, so they do big. hit 20. Oh, yeah. there's. I think there's a couple of them, a couple pounds bigger than mine, as a matter of fact. See, that's that's what I'm talking about, though. Like, for the, the video that... Um, Oh, I released that for members only, didn't I? I'll release it. I'm going to release that today. That video about my idea for the game. Yeah, that was a members only thing. I'll have to make night. that public here and just... I'm, I'll make that public here in a few minutes. Uh, but you guys watch that video and if you agree, you know, go to the Discord and upvote that. But that's what I'm talking about. Like, that could be one of the rewards. A 20-pound smallmouth yellowfish... If you catch that, that it unlocks the special boots or the special hat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a, that's I like, like the 10-pound largemouth. You know, everybody wants that 10-pound largemouth on Golden Ridge. So if you catch one, then you unlock this item. You know, that's that's the type of thing I'd love to see. But I'd love a whole outfit, just a theme. Like, you know... They could design yeah. that, and that's something Jaxie could show off at the beginning of each season. He could say, this is this year's seasonal uh, skins or whatever, and um, anytime you see that design in the game, then you know that person caught so-and-so or, or, or what, you know, a big, almost record fish of whatever. Well... I hope they do something like that. I hope they do all of that. And I hope they implement, you know, the giving you rewards for leveling up every 10 levels again, too. Yeah, right. Right. I miss that. I mean, I, I stopped even trying to level up anymore, and I'm still up to 140 now. Well, that's me. Like, I only do, I used to go around when I was trying to get to level 100. I used to go to every map and do all the dailies. But once I reached once I reached level 100, yeah, we all got kicked. Once I reached level 100, I stopped doing that and I only do the dailies on the map that I'm fishing on. Like, See, but I didn't know that. When I hit level 100, I kept grinding because I thought you got something still. And then I found out you don't get nothing anymore. When I got the 110, I didn't win anything. I was like, hey, you got to be kidding me. Right. That was a bummer, man. I was bummed out about that. All right. I've got some other friend requests here. Let me see. Got what I got. What I got. Oh, God. My time's going the wrong direction. Uh, uh, I guess I'm going to have to give up G on J-Man, what's your name? Uh, I can tell you that. Hold on one second. G man is G man S monkey hashtag thirty one thirty seven. Yeah, I got him right. Okay, there's G man, and then somebody else sent me. Was it on Twitch? Jeffro TTB. I just called a gold one. My time's going crazy. Jeffro, what's your name? I got you, G-Man. I gave it to him. <clears throat> can they hear me right now? I don't know if you can hear me when Oops. I said that or not. But... Let me see. Hopefully I don't have you muted. Yeah, they can hear you. Okay, good. Oh, mm. I'm going to 
I'm going to early morning. It's six o'clock. Six o'clock in the morning. Oh, I should do the smile mouth, shouldn't I? Yeah. There's a couple locations for that now, too, by the way. Spanning rig. Well, I mean, for dime locations, anyways, that I know of. All right. Spanning rig, smile mouth, bass, eggs, frog, spinner bait, frog. Yep, 601. I wonder if we got back on the same server. Where are you at? You still over on that river? What size do I need? Smallmouth? Six. Or a silver? Yeah. Six spinnerbait, uh, popper, frog. I'm going to have to go to the shop then. They actually do bite the spinner bait pretty well, but they also do the frog and the popper too. No problem, G-Man. Fix frog. Okay, I need more coffee. I'm getting a bite. Let me look at what they like again. Can't remember. Frog? Frog, popper, spinnerbait. I mean, they got. I think they got spoon and spin around there, but I never really have luck with that. I usually do best with popper and uh, spinner bait. Oh, I've got that six popper on there. Yeah. Yeah, they're smaller than the spotted, so you got to stay with a six for silver. You can do a seven, as a matter of fact, too. You might want to grab some seven, so you, if you got to spawn some in. Yeah, I didn't think about that. You could do a seven on both of those and still do good. Oh, man, I didn't even look at the temperature. Good Lord. I might come back to that spot in a minute, but I'm going to show you, look, I'm going to drive out to a, a known diamond location for smallmouth. You might get blue kerper once in a while, but you get that at the other spot too. So, um, You don't have to go it's out there right, if you don't want to. I mean, No, it's all right. It's right here by the dock. It's in this lake. What lake? I'll drive out there and if you want to put a marker, you can. Oh, the where we're at right now? Yeah, it's right off this dock. It's on the other side of the lake, though. You got to take a boat over there. And I was planning on fishing for I was actually fishing for him before you started streaming. I wanted to see if I can get a dime smallmouth over here. Uh, this how this, this how like. <clears throat> yeah, I've, I've caught off the dock right there, as a matter of fact. But this spot I'm going to has diamonds have definitely been caught here. I've seen them. Oh, you can you can actually catch them uh, by the dinosaur. Oh, you can the diamond bass in there too. Yep. Wow, I didn't know that. I knew you can get canary and red breast in there, but I didn't know about the bass. Well, look, uh, you see me on your map right now? Yeah. Where I'm parked is is a diamond spot for smallmouth. This is where Pro XCK caught a bunch of them. Go ahead there, give it a shot. Yeah, I'm still set up for him on my small equipment. Did I not track it?
If Derek Leary, how's it going, buddy? CGO the Hunter, how's it going, bud? Just leaded you from my apex by accident. Sure, it was by accident, Derek. Sure. <laughs> You can come park right next to me. I'll move if you want me to. I'll just park right here. It's good. What have we got? We got starting out with the six frog. Yeah, the six frog seems to do better over here than the popper does for some reason. All right, Dre Talk. See you, buddy. But so does a spinner bait. Derek Leary, is your name the same on Apex or is it different? Oh, you went to a nice zoo, huh? I see J.O. We have this. Hog 78. Okay. We have a zoo uh, about mm, probably three hours, three and a half hours from us that we love to go to Knoxville Zoo, Tennessee. Asphalt, where are you? Thank at? you, uh, Shaking Tugboat. I appreciate you, bud. It was Rue's first time. She loved it. What was her favorite animal? Oh, Last Chance Captain. This one took you a while, huh? I'm not seeing you. Tigers. There. Okay, let's see. You get this friend request in. Bass hog. Yeah, I got you. All right, so we've got one. Can't get the gold model deal to save my life. I've not gone after them yet. That Last... dock at uh, Fricky Place. Fricky Fricky. Fricky Fricky Dock, man. Fricky Fricky Dock. Thanks for the follow there, Last Chance Captain. Appreciate that. I mean, there's a, several places you can get that eel, but that's probably the easiest one to get to. CGO. <laughs> there were a couple of albino kangaroos they looked insane shame i didn't have my 308 on me were they diamonds <laughs> nice trying to scar his trying to scar his daughter for life you're like oh daddy look how cute kapow <laughs> ah! Silver, I think. Oh, okay. So do people eat kangaroos? What's it taste like? Chicken? Oh. <laughs> the cave has so many eel, just no big ones. Is it the rave cave? No, it's a different cave. It's over on the top right, yeah. that cave. Exactly. I never do catch any, but there apparently are diamond eels yeah. there. Yeah, that's that's what I've seen. I've seen. I've actually had them on my map catch diamond eel there, but I can't get better than the silver in that thing. Scooter Simpson, thank you so much for the resub, bud. Appreciate you. Fifteen months in a row. Dang. That's where you're at right now. Derek Leary, two legends in the stream. There's another legend in here. Besides other C than Darth? Other than <laughs> CJO. <laughs> I've heard alligator tastes like chicken. I disagree with that. I, 
Yeah, I disagree with that completely. I don't like alligator at all. I lived in Louisiana most of my life, buddy, and I've had it, and it don't like, and it don't taste like chicken. Do you <laughs> like it the way it tastes? No, I don't. I don't like it either. Also, I, mean, I, I also like don't like. I don't know what type of shark it was, but I don't like shark either, and that's what it reminded me of when I ate it. Uh, yeah, very similar. I was. Everybody always says that you got to have it prepared right, and you'll like it. And I've tried it, and I just I don't know. To me, if you have to, I'm doing good, Scooter Simpson. How are you doing, buddy? To me, if you have to spend like a bunch of money on something to make it taste good, then what's the point? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, why don't you just start with something that already tastes good and you don't hardly have to add anything to it, you know? But, I mean, I like a lot of stuff. I, you know, living down here, you do learn to eat a lot of weird things, but I don't like calamari, any of that kind of stuff, you know? I bet I like you eat spicy that. stuff, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, not everything spicy. Heck, McDonald's has got spicy food here. Oh, really? <clears throat> Give me a jalapeno quarter pounder with cheese, please. Oh, yeah. I, you know the, the McChicken sandwich? Yeah. Forever, they used to call it the Cajun McChicken because they spiced it like crazy. Wow. And then, I'd never of course, survive. Popeyes, all those kind of places, you know. I had belly pork for the first time yesterday. It was so good. Oh, I bet it was. <clears throat> now, now you're getting into my foods, CJO. <laughs> You haven't lived until you did a crawfish boil, though. I've done that, but I don't like crawfish. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. I just don't. I just can't get past it. I can't get past it, man. Oh, what they are and where they live? And all yeah, that. I can't get I, I can eat lobster. I have no problem with lobster. <laughs> well, I do, I do have a problem with lobster. My problem with lobster is the price... And the amount of food that you get for that price just doesn't match up for me. I don't like lobster that much to yeah. where I'm going to pay that kind of price for that little amount of lobster tail. I'd just give me a big old fat steak. Well, crawfish prices finally dropped here recently, man. They were really high for a long time, but they came way down. Yeah. <laughs> look, look here at Mike. Lobsters are bugs. Man, I'm not catching a single uh, smallmouth here now. Yeah, they're called mud bugs. Come Ooh, on, Mike. Nice don't tell me that every once in a while you don't just snatch a night crawler out of the ground and eat it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just got a gold. Where are you casting? Towards your boat. Yeah, must be nice. I literally cast it right to the uh, right of your boat or your left. You know what my problem with crab is? I'm too lazy for crab. Like, I feel like I work myself to death cracking it and getting what little bit of meat there is out of it. And and then I've sat there and I've worked and worked and worked. And, and, and then like 30 seconds, I've gobbled it all up. Lobster and crabs yeah. used to be considered poor people food, while like pasta and cheese, mac and cheese used to be considered a rich person meal. You now the rows of that is true. My dad said the same thing about that. Yep. Now I love crab, like crab legs. Like if somebody else wants to crack it for me and get all that out. That's you. That's it's just so much work for so little meat. Man. I know. If I had some that was already pre-cracked, you know, and some of that melted butter to dip it in, oh, it is good. It's really good. Oh, How do you bread. eat your steak, oh, Darth? Well, I like medium. But I went to the Roadhouse, Texas Roadhouse, Friday night, and I ordered a medium steak. And when I stabbed it, it mooed at me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had to peel the sticker off of one side of it. It was like bleeding. I could still feel its heartbeat. <laughs> it was not medium. <laughs> My
my wife was looking at it and she's like, oh my God, how are you eating that? I mean, it tastes good. Just feel like it might be a little dangerous when, you know, when it's like trying to crawl off your plate still. <laughs> Now you got a silver. Yeah. CGO, you, you got bingo yet, bud? On South Africa? But my favorite steak, medium well to well done is best. Oh my God, you're eating cardboard. My favorite steak is uh, ribeye. Well, yeah. no, let me, let me back up. Filet mignon is my favorite, but I, I can't afford to order it. Yeah, ribeye is mine, man. If you get the right marble. Right. You know, ribeye steak man. for the price. All things considered for the price and everything, ribeye is my favorite. Now, filet mignon, if somebody, else, if somebody else is buying it for me, give me a big filet. <laughs> you know. Nowhere near. I've not been targeting diamonds. The only two diamonds that I targeted is I said, before I start going and doing these challenges, I want a tiger fish diamond and a catfish. And so I got those. And then my other diamonds I've caught, I've gotten really lucky. Like catching them on light line while going for these gear challenges. So I've got five or six diamonds. I'll have to look after I reel this in. Struggling with the red breast. I've not tried, not tried those yet. I've not even tried those gear challenges yet. I've got five or six gear challenges left here. And that's one of them. Well, I've heard a lot of people say the red breast was tough, but I lucked out, I guess, with it. Love you a good T-bone steak. I mean, I'll eat it. I would just prefer a ribeye, you know. If I have to rank them, it for me. Oh, I think I've got it. This is a good price a factor or not. This is a good one. If I have to rank them, like price is not a factor. Yeah, filet mignon for sure. Filet mignon, then ribeye. Then New York Strip, then T-Bone, then Sirloin. Yeah. Oh, actually, Prime yeah. Rib's in there, too. I like a Prime Rib every now and then with the au jus. That gone. Yeah. I'm starving to death now. What have y'all done to I me? I know. You're making me hungry, man. <laughs> if this is a small mouth, I think we've done it. Now, I don't know what bait you're using, but there are blue kerper here, too. No, I saw it. Oh, okay. It's either a smallmouth or a spotted bass. I haven't caught a spotted bass here yet, but I know they're here, but I haven't caught one yet over here. If this is a smallmouth, I'm, I'm going to say this is a goat if it's a smallmouth bass. Well, if it's not, man, I'm telling you, I'm catching them like crazy right now with the spinner bait. This is a six popper. Please don't be just a huge silver. Here we go. Here we go. What we got? What we got? Gold smallmouth, baby. 5.01 pound. That gets that gear challenge done. 12% on the frog. I've not used those new frogs. Where did those new frogs come from? Remember? Was that a they, they, DLC? I remember. Some they DLC or something. One. Yeah. We got her. I got a stream marker this. Because this will be in a video later. All right, let's target another gear challenge. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah, I tell you, this is a good spot, man. 
Okay, really so I have five left. Um, well, you got a good time of the day for a lot of the ones you're going for. Which one would you suggest? Morning, early morning. What do you got left right now? Well, I have the three point three one pound line on me. That's why I kind of want to do. Mo that's a red breast, right? No, that's two. Canaries one, and then African model deals four. I'm thinking mogul. I still haven't gotten that mogul, and that's a float fishing. Hey, I've been catching moguls here. <laughs> have you really? Yeah, I've caught two of them on this uh, spinner bait. Since we've been sitting here, I've caught two of them. One was a bronze, one was a silver. Um, they they like doe, don't they? Doe and red worm. Well, let's I try mean, it. Other things. Let's try it, but I would prefer to go to a place where a known, yeah, a known diamond should. location. Yeah, because I, I honestly don't know if they got gold ones here or not. DLC rod thought. packs, where that frog came from. Oh, okay. I was thinking yeah, I so. Yeah, I got them a long time ago. Thank you so much, CGO. Working that fish like a pro. Dry. I know exactly what I'm doing. Best of luck, Darth. I'm out, dude. Keep up the good work. Love it. All right, CGO. Thanks for stopping by, bud. And I know you guys are subbed already to CJO. But if for some insane reason you've been living under a rock and you haven't subbed to CGO, the hunter, yet, you need to go do that. He's awesome. Got awesome videos out there. And he's got that sexy accent, you know? The fake accent, according to Bro Bra. <laughs> the fake accent. <laughs> according to Bro Bra and them, he's got that fake accent. I just caught another silver mogul. All right. Well, I mean, I've, th I've thrown my line out there, but this is when a big 70 pound carp comes and bites it. I look. Well, but, they got the grass carp right here for sure. Yeah. I'm on a three pound line. That's for sure what's going to happen. <laughs> got yeah, that, that'd be bad. You got a red breast diamond right where I'm at, kicking wing? Nice. Sweet action. I'll put that marker down right there. Then. Remember that for later. See, I saw some red breast caught across from where we are right now, down by that other dock, like straight south of us. Yeah. I see, that's a marked, you know, known location, but. I'm going to look at the mogul and see if they've added any new spots. I wonder if you can get any in that cave where you got to do one of the uh, location, the number two location challenge. Uh -huh. There's a cave like with a really small pond that you fish out of to do that location challenge for silver. I don't know if you can get gold out of there or not. But there are definitely carp in that. Well, we haven't visited our cradle of life today. I think this is a good time of the day for them. I really do. That's probably your best bet to go right in there. I mean, you're bound to get a gold. You fished it a couple times already, huh? Yeah. I haven't either, Brandon, but I saw a diamond caught here yesterday by Stevie B there that's in Twitch chat right now. What is this? Hey. That'd be awesome if you got that here too, huh? Oh, it would be. <laughs> First cast. That would be great. I don't know what this is, but taking me... Taking my drag out. That's the three, 
3.31 line. Yep. Well, like I said, there is blue Kerber here, and that's right in their wheelhouse for silvers and stuff. I don't know if it's a mogul or not. But it's a mogul. Oh, no. 3.08 silver. It's got to be getting close to gold. Oh, yeah. Four pounds ago, I, dang it. I still think you should go to that pond, dude, because, I mean, there ain't no telling if you can even get gold here. What pond? The Cradle of Life. That's where I'm at. Oh, you went over there? Oh, okay. <laughs> Your boat's still sitting here. I thought you were still next to me. <laughs> I was about to say, now we know who's really watching the stream and who's not. Well, I'm, you know, I've been twitching and stuff, so it's hard <laughs> to focus on both. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I said, your boat is right in front of me right now, but yeah, I don't see you anymore. Going after the red breast. Now, well, I'm super jealous of you, Stevie. I thought I had it right there. That thing was fighting pretty good. Pretty sure that made my personal best. 3.08, that was my personal best. I think I'm getting close on these temperatures now. Oh, yeah, I am. Point right there, oh one from gold. Are you kidding me? <laughs> G-Man says he's not lying either. He saw a 3.09 gold. Would you have a 3.08? Yep. It was my personal <laughs> oh, best. Man. It was my personal best. <laughs> That's messed up. I thought it was a goat. It fought like one. Got another mogul. How long you plan on streaming today? Um, well, at least 30 more minutes. But either way, I'm going to play a lot today. Hopefully. Because I'm not you going to be doing videos or I'm not going anywhere today. And I don't work on Sundays. So. It's relaxing day for me. I have footage to edit, so I don't need to record anything. So after I get done editing, um, I will probably, I want to play some today and go for these challenges. So if I do uh, and see you, I'll holler at you. All right. We may just hop, in, we may just hop in Discord and chat and just fish offline you know, or, you know, not streaming, but just fishing. Yeah. I just try, I try to leave you alone when I see you in there, you know, because I know you're probably doing editing or doing videos or whatever, so I try to leave you alone. Well, me and the wife are going to watch a, some more um, suits, suits, but I'm going to make time to play at some point today too, just to try to knock some of these challenges out. I'm doing these challenge videos in groups of four fish and I've got enough Ooh. I've got enough for a second one. And after I catch one more, will that put me at twelve? Yes, after I catch one more, that'll be enough for another video. Ooh. Another gold bass. I just had one swim close to my boat look huge. If you've seen Jaden, yeah, Jaden's usually in here. I haven't seen him today, though. That's who caught the 3.09 gold. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, what's your line snap on, Stevie? Another goal. All right. That's a good sign. Uh-oh, got me one right here. Looks pretty decent, too. And it's a mogul. Mogul or whatever. Uh, this is I it. I think it's mogul, but I don't know. This is it. Uh, this is more than it. This is a diamond. Well, one good thing is I don't think it can spool you there. Now, there's nothing big in here, is there? It was shaped I mean, like a carper. mogul. Is there any other type of fish that's in here? Oh, I don't know if there's grass carp or anything in there, but you definitely got a uh, blue carper. But they don't. No, it's ways. it's not shaped like a blue, blue carper. I thought it was yeah. a mogul when it bit. It probably is. How big do the mogul get? Because this oh, this is God. huge. My let's see, where is it? This is a diamond. I can go ahead and tell you right now. If there's My nothing, five point three four pounds, and I think it's a small one. Mike says six point three eight is world record, and that makes sense. But the beauty of this is, is I can't be spooled. So as long as I'm not an idiot. Yeah, that lake's really small, or that pond anyway. So it's really small. I'm just gonna take my time with this. This this is a dime. I'm telling you right now, it's a diamond mogul. Look at the white. Look how crazy it's going. It's hitting the bank. It wants to. It would definitely spool me and snap my line if it weren't for the bank. So I'm, if this I'm is lucky. A diamond, huh? That, that'd be your third one on light line, right? Oh, no, no. You I caught the spotted bass was my third one. I, I caught that offline. Oh, yeah, man. I forgot to switch my line on the spotted bass because I caught the gold and I said well I want to try to just stay here for a while while I've got this boat here and I forgot to switch my line and I caught my oh, diamond on light line on spotted bass I did bass. see that in your video yep. that's right don't turn into the okay. smartest idiot I know <gasps> no oh how did that happen I saw the slack went in your line, but. That's crazy. <sighs> was it red? Oh, that's a grass carp. I was like, man, that's big fish. It wasn't red. Thanks. Hi, Kyla. Hope your day's going well. What causes that? I mean, it wasn't even red. Did it glitch through the bank and snap on a rock or something? I've had that happen one time. As a matter of fact, it was for small bowel bass at that diamond location where the waterfall is. And all of a sudden, all the tension went away and it said fish got off or got away. And here's I, I here's no what I wonder about, though. If our populations are our own, right, then it shouldn't matter if I'm on multiplayer, single player, whatever. If I come back right. here, isn't that fish going to be in this? It should be. Still? And then it I should be. I so mean, after I catch the gold challenge, I'm going to put big line on and come after this sucker. But I think, isn't there a time period before it's going to let you catch it again? I'd have to leave the map. Yeah. Well, that's why I reset or something. Yeah. Because once you've lost it or messed up on that. During, session, during that session, it won't bite again. Right. I knew there was something like that. 
Matter of fact, you're in this map, right? I am. Who is? You're on. You're in my map, right? Me? Yep. Yeah, I'm in. Well, I was. I don't, yeah, I just saw your name. Yeah. So, I'm still over by the smallmouth bass. Well, just for gigs, I'm going to join on you. I just left the map, and I'm just going to join back on you. Well, you had a lot of followers in here. I hope you can get back in. <laughs> oh, you got a spot freed up for sure now. I'm in here. See, um, that's what I'm saying, though. It wasn't red, and I was reeling, so I don't understand why it did that to me. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, the only time I've seen that is that one time that happened to me when I was going for the diamond uh, smallmouth bass. I thought I broke it off on a rock or something, but I did notice there had no tension, like there was nothing on the tension bar, and then it said fish got off or something, or got away or whatever it was. All right, Shaking Tugboat, thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know. Like, there's nothing over there on that side where it was when my line broke. So I don't know what happened. Maybe that's just one of those RNG things that they've got built into the game that every several hundred fish, you might have that happen where they get off. And it just happens to happen on like a potential, yeah, but like uh -huh. a potential <laughs> huge <Diamond>. mogul. <laughs> well, that one that happened on me was a big fish. I know it was because of the tension I was getting. But I have no idea what it was to be honest, but. Man, I was just ready for the long fight. I was like, okay, it can't spool me. I'm just going to take my time with this thing. Yeah, my line didn't snap. It just said got away. So, right. temperatures are so low still I'm in the deep water and it's still pretty early man Kyla I'm going to give you your points too What? I bet you can get a diamond right here because, man, I am catching these small balls like crazy right now. Yeah, Crash, you might remember. I was telling you about that when that happened to me when I was going for the smallmouth. It just freaking got off the line. I have no idea why it happened. I'm pretty sure you were in the map with me when that happened. Oh, man, that was going to be a dime. Mobile. I have no doubt. Zero doubt. Yeah, if it was running like that, it probably was. Huge. Well, it should still be there. Well, that's what we don't know. You know? Right. In theory, I guess. <laughs> I mean, if it was there for me, 
it shouldn't it be here? But here's what we don't know. Let's say that fish is on my map still, but now it's not in this pond and it's somewhere else. See, we don't, there's so many unknowns. We just don't know. Yeah. Cause... What if they, what if your population is your own and it's always going to be the same till you catch it and cause another respawn? But what if they shuffle where right. they're at? Rotate. Right. Spot. Like, like now it's in another diamond location instead of this one. You know, I mean, who knows how it works. Yeah. And there's bound to be another diamond location. We just don't know it yet, you know? Oh, there are. There's four different diamond locations. Well, yeah, but man, I don't, that catfish lake, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess I'll go there and try someday. But It's the, the really all up against that damn wall. <laughs> um, if you get <laughs> If you get in a boat, like it is... A square, a green square they've got drawn all the way up against that damn wall, all the way across the lake right there, that side. Are you talking about the, the big giant dam at the way on the east side? Yep. Really? Man, it's called another gold bass. All right. Come on, dime. Look here. See here? Wait, you got another one? No, I'm just showing you the map. Oh. Right there. Oh. That whole wow, square, that whole good. area. Yeah. Wow. And then right there, off from that um, outpost, and then up here. Mike, I hate you. And then we're here where we're at right now. I ate you, Mike, and I mean that in the nicest way. Did possible. Mike do the sound, or did you just hear Mike? Because I just had one. Mike did the sound. <laughs> oh, okay. Because <laughs> right when you said that, I literally had one bite, and I, I hooked it. All right. I'm going to... Uh, I'll be back in, like, one minute. All right. <clears throat> ah, I am back. 
Welcome back. Oh, good show. Welcome back, Carter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know we're old. <laughs> <sighs> Mr. Carter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All these youngsters in here, are like, what's they talking about? Yeah, they <laughs> they just don't know. <laughs> Man, how big a carper is that right there, boys? I can hear Mike. Yeah, a lot of people know. John Travolta from uh, all the Staying Alive movie and all that, but they never they don't remember him on How, Welcome Back, Carter. He, he was so stupid on that uh, stupid oh, character too. He was so funny. <laughs> that character was perfect. Damn it, Dakota. <laughs> oh gosh! You look at that little carper right there, and then this big, huge one over here. I can hear Mike right now. Huge. Nice silver. Oh, G-Man just got one. Where's uh, he at? Hmm? He just got a diamond mogul somewhere. Uh, we must not be in the same server. I, I, he, I thought we were. I saw you join back in. I just saw him on my list. I've gotten kicked off from your server. Apparently. Oh. <clears throat> Let's see. How big old Carper is that, boys? Yeah, he's standing at that pond and you're not there. The Cradle of Life pond. He's actually straight across from me and he just caught a dime. Well, not straight across. He's over to your left. It doesn't show you, my server. Let me look at the list and see. My server yeah. is 744. So is mine. But I swore I saw you rejoin it. Yeah, I joined you, but. Man, I tell you, I wish they'd get that stuff fixed. Derek, you sent me a friend request. I thought I saw you say that a little while ago and I couldn't find it. Shows Darth in man. Now the mogul. I'm not showing any. Oh no, there's Bass Hog. Yeah. Yeah, I see Bass Hog. Right. Let me let me look again, man. It, you sure yours doesn't show up as just numbers? Man, I, I looked a little while ago and I didn't see it. Let me try again. Yeah, see, I'm not seeing it. I got a bunch of player number, you know, like Darth says, but I don't see Bass Hog. Huh. I'll tell you what. Right. I'm going to try. Wait, you're in here now, right? Let me, I can send you a friend request in here. If you're in my server yeah i'm not showing i'm not showing bass hall you guys might be in a different server now hey what i'm gonna do i just want to try something hmm. i'm gonna turn multiplayer off because that fish should be in here yeah it really should i mean like you said, unless they rotate, you know, if you mess one up and it goes to a different location, I, I don't know. We'll never know the answer to that one, I'm sure. How big was it, G-Man? Okay. 
contacts connect? Oh seven from records, uh, six point three one pounds. It's awesome. Dark, do you know Kicking Wing? Uh, we're we're. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's in here. I thought I recognized the name. He's sitting over here fishing next to me, and I got a friend request from him. But yeah, right there he is. Sure. He's in our YouTube yeah. chat right now. Right. He said okay. he just sent you one. Yeah, yeah. I, I see it. I just saw it, and I, I see him fishing next to me, and I wasn't sure if he was in here, but yeah, he's in that stream, too. Bite me, Mike. Um, <laughs> he got you again? No, I left while I go, and when I come back, and I said, I'm back, and he, he typed, you left? Oh no. Like he didn't even know that I left. <clears throat> oh lord. Well, that's not good. Okay. What's your name My on game? The... Uh oh, I'm getting a bite right now, so hold on. This is a mogul. Oh, this might be the one. This, I think this might be the same one. Oh, I hope so. That'd be awesome. Well, never had that happen before. My game just froze. I'm going to join on Kicking Wing because he was. Oh, God. This... And I really hope they change that back. Every time I join a new game, my multiplayer is off and I got to go in and turn it on. I thought that that only happened on PlayStation. I'm on PlayStation. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I play on a PS5. I don't know if this is the same one I caught or not, or uh, that got away or not. I'm being more aggressive with it this time. Yeah, G-Man, I don't know what happened. I accepted kick Kicking Wing, and literally right after I accepted his friend request, my game locked up. I couldn't do nothing. Had to, had to close it out. Come on. Making me nervous. Yeah, be patient as much as you can anyways. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid it'll get away if I'm too patient. Yeah, that's true. That whatever happened to you last time, who knows? At least right now I've got it off the bank. Yeah, there's no telling what kind of glitch stuff goes on when they get into the edge of the bank. That's why I'm saying it could have glitched through the bank and then snapped on a rock. Yeah, you're, I'm sure you've seen that. I was catching mirror carp way back when we first started getting the diamonds of those, and man, they'd go right into the shore, like disappear into the shore. <laughs> There's another mogul right there swimming right in front of me, but I'm pretty sure this is the one. Come on. Come on. Well, G-Man, I tell you what, I've been picked a bunch of times and I've had the game crash, but I've never had it actually freeze on me before. Come on, be the one, be the one. Shoot. Oh, you're close. Very close. He just about snapped me off too right there. Oh, got him, got him. It's, well, it's a gold. At hey, least that's still good though. It's good, but. Another one down. Yes. 
I don't think that's the one that I hooked into earlier. I really don't. Yeah, you got that one closer to you a lot faster than the, that one you were fighting. So I think what I might do now is I'm going to uh, put bigger line on. And try for it? Yep. I don't blame you. It's bound to be there. I mean, I, I would think it would be anyways. You still uh, in single player, huh? Yeah. That's probably your best bet. Well, I've got this good time. You're right, exactly. Of course, we got, I mean, even if you join me right now, I'm at 8.16 a.m., which is a good time for that. That's what time I am. Oh, that's right. You joined me, then went to single player. That's right. Okay. okay. But it never did show that we were in the map together for some reason. No. Yeah, I know. It's... But good news is we only have four of the challenges left. I have the modeled eel, canary carper, red breast carper, and red nose labeo. The canary and the red breast, there's a couple places you can do those in the same spot. See, I'm wanting to do the red nose because I've got that 3.31 pound line on me right now. Oh, yeah. Man, I keep catching mogul after mogul in this area here. I mean, smallmouth and mogul. Yes, Bay. Um, I've already got one out, Bay. I've got one that's got four fish in it, and then I got one that's probably going to be coming out tomorrow that's got a, another four fish in it. That mogul made my fourth for another video. So, and then I've got these four remaining. So there'll be four total videos with four fish each, you know. I've got one out already. It's got uh, grass carp, mirror carp, spotted bass, and I think tiger fish in it. I'm trying to remember. I just watched it the other day. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember what. what. No, it's largemouth yellowfish. Shoot. I can't. You had one with the grass carp and the mirror carp. I yeah, those one, you did the those are in the same one. Yeah. Man, another gold smallmouth. Uh, shoot. Uh, so now it's got me curious. Uh, blue carper, largemouth yellowfish, mirror carp, and grass carp. That's the first gear change yeah. to guide. I've All got. right. The next one's going to have... I think common carp, uh, sharp tooth catfish, spotted bass, and tiger fish. I tell you what, man, if you don't get a bite on that bait you're on right now, since you already did your challenge, you ought to switch to a spinner bait, a number six spinner bait, because I keep getting those things biting over here. Oh, there was a huge one just jumped over there. They seem to like a spinner bait. The one that just jumped has come over and it's biting me right now. Oh, there you go. But, well, I can't tell how big it is because I put this bigger line on. Well, you'll get it in quick, so you'll know. <laughs> A 2.97. That's the one nice thing is it don't take long to figure out what you got because you can get it in quick.
<clears throat> oh, it's just 11.42. My time changed on me automatically on this clock. Really? Yeah. It's one of those smart well, clocks. And then a few years ago... Okay. Yeah, it's one of those smart clocks. And then a few years ago, after I bought it, they did something to the Eastern Time Zone change or something. Moved it up a week or two or something. And it, I was, I've been looking at this clock, and it's an hour fast. Yeah, you should be at like eleven forty-two or something right now. Yeah, that's what I am. So I've got at least another forty-five minutes or so before I get off. Oh, you thought you had to get off here soon? I thought I did, but... <laughs> well, like I said, man, if they stop biting that, go to the spinner bait, because good lord, I keep catching them. Well, at least over here. I gotta go back to work tomorrow. We're in the home stretch though. Oh, that's right. You're a teacher, so you get off for the summer, don't you? Yeah. Um as of right now, I don't have to work any in June. But if we miss any more school, I will. But as of right now, I'll have all of June off. And the first half of July. So I'll have like a month and a half off. There's another gold. I don't think I have any privacy restrictions set. Derek, I don't believe I do. Right, man, that I'm still convinced that other one that I hooked into that got away, that one was huge. So I don't know, I don't know how to explain that away. Like, cause if it's not in here now, where'd it go? Right. G-Man oh, says he took my dime. Everybody's population is their own. Derek, I don't know if this makes a difference or not, but I just noticed the D in Dad's a Psycho is a capital on my Apex ID, so that might be why you're not getting me. Yeah. G man, you couldn't yeah. have caught my dime, man. Our, our own, our populations are, are our own. That's been confirmed. Sure feels that way sometimes, though. <laughs> God, it does, not <laughs> well, I tell you what confirms it that screenshot that I've got of all six of us having uh, El Matador caught at the same time. I'm still mad about that, man. That, remember that? My game kept crashing and I couldn't get in that picture with y'all? Yeah. Oh, that was frustrating. Oh, that. You, so you're the one that's not in that picture? Yeah, I didn't get in that picture because my game kept crashing. As soon as we got close to each other, mm. it kept picking it. Me and uh, somebody else had that problem was on PlayStation. Kept getting kicked. 
Yeah. Because when we all got that big group of people, it was too much for the game or something. I want to keep going for this nine. <sighs> but at the same time, I also want to get those challenges out of the way. Well, it should still be there whenever you go back. That's so. true. All right. All right. Let's see. Which ones do I need to get now? The line you have, isn't that the red nose? Yep. Go back after that red nose. The red nose reindeer here. But this time, I'm going to go up here where you caught this. I'm going to go up there. Which one? The record one or that other one I caught? Because you know I caught, I've caught two at that dock too. At Fricky's place, I, I caught a really big one at that dock and a small one at that dock. Those seem to be my eyed on this map. Bay, what's your name on here? I don't say your name. Okay. What is going on, man? All of a sudden, my bites just stopped. If your name's different than Bay, you're going to have to add me, and then I'll accept the request. Send me a frame request. Let me know when you've sent me oh. a frame request. There should be more numbers in that. Where it says player 6517, there should be a hashtag before more numbers or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to. The best thing to do is do the exclamation point apex and send me a friend request. And then I will... Uh, accept it once you tell me you've seen it. I don't know if you saw that, James. I put that down there. Don't worry. Oh, six eggs. Yeah. Bottom six eggs. God's 86 feet deep here. I caught both. Hey, speed gunning. Yeah, you're in the two. I think you might be too deep if you're at that spot. Because I caught mine in that shallow spot right there. But you might be able to catch them there too, I guess. That's pretty close. Probably that whole little area. Seeing it, you say? What's up, Ace? So you are... Calling us... Derek, do me a favor and type out your exact Apex name, hashtag number and everything, and I'll try to send you one. Because it's so far back in chat, I don't remember what it was. Wire. 65. I know it's uh, Bass Hog, but I don't remember the rest of it. There it is. All right, I got you. So, are you saying that I'm I'm too deep here? Do I need to go? Maybe. Do I need to go further north or what? Well, that's where I caught mine. Uh, yeah, I, see that little shallower spot right north of you? Yeah. 
I was casting into that spot when I caught that second diamond right there. Okay. Right. That's where I was casting. And you got to be up river so it don't, you know, mess with you. So you might want to rotate the boat up a little bit and cast down river. And then you also got that other spot we were sitting at yesterday. Then. On the other side of that island. 63 feet sound good yeah i was around 58 ish so you're probably okay right there 55 58 i think is where i was sitting something like that ace i'm gonna give you some points back for a modern form okay now i caught the diamond eel there in that deep water getting a bite right now. Bass hog 78 hashtag 49. Okay, buddy, let me try to send you one. Let me reel in this fish real quick. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. It's not a big deal. I got a gold canary kerper on a number six spinner bait. <laughs> In a good while. I wasn't expecting that fish. And guys, we've revamped the top five submissions now. Um, so those of you that weren't submitting uh, anything, we've made it a little more fair to where every fish now Um five different people's names will be there. We're not going to let one person have all five spots now. So there's going to be five different people, each fish. So those of you all that weren't submitting anything, uh, you might want to look at the top five list now, because we've cleared up a lot of spots on it. That's all. So just remember, um, only your, only one of your biggest fish is going to be, on each category now. There is a red nose. Good start. Okay. Anything from this year? Yeah, this year. Uh, let me show hey. you. Um, actually. Okay, Derek, I just sent you one. So if you look right here, well, I'm getting a bite. I have to do this when I don't have my line on over here. <laughs> We'll look, oh, yeah. we'll look at it right now, Dale boy. We'll look at it right now. I, uh, I'm going to get my yeah. line out of the water before I show it. And I'm going to show you guys everything that's going on in their top five. And Dale boys put a lot of work into it. And I'm excited yeah. about it. hope it gets more people involved in the community. That's the point of it. Um, I mean, I, I, see, I see both sides of it. You know, R. Lewis put a lot of work into it as well yeah dad's a psycho dale boy yourself had several fish that you had multiple entries in the top five and but at least this way you still get to showcase your biggest one right and it gets four others per fish um well involved. you got other spots for those too you know that you got the fishing chat and the uh fishing trophies thing that you can put them in there and show people you know right right they don't have to be on the top five list just as long as your biggest one's there. The idea was to put your biggest against everyone else's fish. Right. So I think it'll get more people involved, you know, because now you're going to have five different people on the t right on per fish. So that's a lot more community members getting involved in it, you know? 
Right. Instead of just one or two people dominating everything. Right. And I'm kind of one of those people, but it's not on purpose. <laughs> See, I like their idea, too, of having, like, the angler of the year thing. Yeah. Because that. because that, you can still strive to beat your biggest one right. and get more points added to go toward that. Exactly. The higher on the list you are, the more points you get, so you're fighting to get that higher spot, you know? Right. What's up, Ryder? How's it going, buddy? All right, let's look at the top five. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm not going to cast. <laughs> What'd you catch? Oh, another silver? Yeah. All right, where was that at? Where's my Discord? Right there. Okay. Now, let's look at it. So if you're in my Discord, you see here you've got fishing chat. There's the angler. So all things the anglers under it. If you go to the top five leaderboard here, and click on the document. Why did it put it over there? Okay. Um, so here's all all the maps, and Dale Boy has done a lot of work on this. And look, he's even added temperatures to it as well. If you go by temperatures and hook sizes, look at that. That's nice. Bronze, silver, gold, uh, diamond. Okay. So anyway. Now what we have is we have five different people per fish. Whereas before you might would see dad's a psycho on all five, right? Now look at these points. If you're in first place, you get five points. So this is awesome. So the angler of the year here, you look over here and you see R. Lewis for angler of the year on Golden Ridge, right? has 48 points <laughs> that's all <laughs> right i mean because you know what i'm saying so you're going up in points this gives you something to like a little friendly competition to do because you get five points for first place and four points for second place and so forth so you can see r lewis is still dominating and here's the overall right here right so I got some work to do. I'm not. Oh God. I know. I've I was got... telling Delboy that last night, man. I was like, I got to get the work, man. I got to get on that list. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing good on Spain. Not so good on everything else. But uh, yeah. So this gives you something to do. When we hit that point, when we get, when we hit that point to where we've caught bingo and we've caught all the diamonds, this is what you do. Go and look at this top five and and, and and just a little friendly competition and look and see where you're at see like right here i don't have a small mouth bass so if i i would be like okay let's go in let's catch a thank you so much Dale boy for working on this and all of you editors out yeah. there this awesome this job. looks awesome i love it it looks awesome i did too um and so even though you're not on there five times Try to get the biggest one in each fish, and you get that five points, which goes toward the angler of the year. You know? Oh, and, man, I really got to work. And what I like about it, too, <laughs> um, what, what I like about this, too, is even if you don't win the overall angler of the year, you could be the angler of the year for Golden Ridge or Trosper. Right. Or Spain. Each individual map. Each, you might be the angler of the year for a specific map. And then maybe what we do is we uh maybe we do this by seasons. I don't know. I'm just throwing an idea out there. Instead of an angler instead of the whole year 2024, maybe we end this at June 30th. And then we start over. Oh. From scratch. Yeah, I'm just like throwing that I idea out there. I'm not saying that's what we're going to do, but let's say we start getting bored and we need something and that, that rejuvenates things. Maybe we say, okay, we're going to keep this going till June 30th and we call this the spring season or something and it ends June 30th or, and then we go June 30th to whatever that other third quarter is. You know, we could name each season, whatever, all kinds of possibilities out there. 
But, and we could put a special roll in Discord, like an emblem. We could put an emblem for Golden Ridge, for example, besides your name in Discord, if you're the Golden Ridge champion. Wow, that's kind of neat. Um, and and if you're the Trosporet champion, we could put that emblem beside your name in, um, in Discord. And if you're the overall champion, we could put my emblem there in Discord if you're the overall you know champion. It's just some ideas to throw out there. It gives us something to do. Because at some point, we're going to have all the diamonds on the game. And we're going to need some other little things to keep us, you know, keep those juices well, flowing, you know. All of us have them already. So, yeah, this is a good goal. I enjoy this. Yeah. If I didn't have this, I'd be bored. I really would, because I didn't expect to get bingo again so quick. Right, right. I like the idea of having a, a three-month, se- like four three-month seasons, Dale Boy. That way you don't have to do it. Every- oh, you're updating it at the end of every month. I see what you're saying. But like, you know how they do quarters, like for your taxes, January yeah. to March 31st. Every three months. Every three months. We could have three-month seasons like that. And we wipe the slate clean. You know, we could do this one until June 30th because we're in that quarter right now. And then June 30th, we announce all the winners. And then we start the new season. You know, I think that's an awesome, awesome idea. But we can talk about it, throw some other ideas out there, see what we come up with. But I like it. I like that little point system thing there. Oh, I love that. And I didn't come up with it. I think that was Dale Boy's idea, or was that Jerry's? Uh, it was one of them. I, I don't think Del, Del Boy said it was. Yeah, it might have been Jerry's. That, it might have been Jerry's idea, and Dale Boy started working on it or something. I, I yeah, can't, I can't remember whose idea it was. Well, I was telling, I was talking to him about it. He did say that he can't take credit for it. It was somebody else's idea. And I, I just can't remember who, who he said. Yeah, I'd have to go back and chat and look. Yeah, I got to look at my... But several great ideas from different community members that are editors on that sheet, and I'm loving it. I love how you've got the the hook sizes on there, the temperatures are on there. It's an awesome sheet, you know? Seriously, that's very impressive. I got my first diamond lake trout yesterday. Nice. Jerry started the angler of the year. I just tweaked the concept. I was thinking it was Jerry. So that's nice collaboration, guys. Very, very good. I know it's got me already looking forward to it because right now what I'm going to do, my first goal after I finish all these challenges like I'm working on right now, my first goal is going to be get a diamond of every fish. Now, once I've got that, I'm going to be bingo across the board. So I'm going to start looking at that angler of the year thing and like, okay, what fish do I need? What, what fish do I not have one on the leaderboard, you know, and try to at least get one fish on the leaderboard of each fish. And then at that point, you're, you're trying to beat your biggest fish, you know? So like if you're fifth on this fish or fourth on that fish, you're like, okay, I need a bigger one of those. So it just gives you something to keep doing. Well, apparently I'm only third overall, so I got some work to do. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. You got one? Oh, me? Yeah, I see you got some red tension there. It's a big silver, small gold. If it's a red nose. And that's the thing too, G-Man. You may look at it, you know, at some point and you're like, well, I know I don't have a chance to win the overall because I've not got enough of this on this map or whatever, but you might be really close on one map and be like, okay, I'm going to focus on this map. You know, so there's all kinds of different ways to look at it, and we can award those roles per map, like I said, and then the overall um, in the Discord channel. Man, the bites just stopped all of a sudden. 
Oh, there's my gold red nose. Yeah, baby. Awesome. Sweet. Told you that was a good spot. You did. <laughs> my personal best by 0.21. Red nose Labeo gear challenge to Finn. Now you can switch your lines and go for those other small ones, right? Yeah, that's the last one of the 3.31 pound line that I needed. So yeah, I did. I did it that way too. I all I grouped them all together with whatever I had on me. Okay, so now let's look. These are the three modeled eel canary curper. Now you're saying well, the canary curper's pretty easy. I mean, it was for me, but you know, I. I caught back-to-back -back dimes at the main dock there one day, so I've always found those easy. Plus, there's that pond. But for the challenge, the is there a place where the red breast and the blue carper aren't going to bother you as much? Because I'm, I mean, you're going, you're using a one-pound line, so if those other fish... That canary pond, you know the one I'm talking about? The pond that's uh, it has a little island in it. It's close to the... Uh, yeah. It's like three yeah. pounds south of, of Grass Park. That pond right there is where I did my gold challenge, and I got it done quick. Oh, okay. Hustler, I, I thank you so much. Appreciate it. Off to some basketball games. There you go, Derek. Are you needing to know where I'm at, uh, Mix? I am right here. Um, You're still in single player, though, right now, huh? Yeah, but I can I can turn that off. I'll turn that off and join. Um so freaky spot north of freaky spot right there yeah he knows that spot he caught his diamond eel there he got two big diamond eels there multiplier back well, on okay let's see what why is it evidently it's not wait why is it not it didn't give me the option to join your dad did it did you turn it back on yeah well i've got g-man standing right here and oh ew, come on your server's probably right. full it's probably what it is oh uh, let's see so oh i know i gotta i gotta go get this gear all right we're gonna do the canary curper at least get set up for it yeah, that's the one point one line in it. G man join me or something else. If you're on dad's map, I think it's full, but I'll look. Yeah, he's sitting right here. G man, what was your name again? It is actually G man something, ain't it? Yeah. G man, G -Man Smokey. Whole bunch of yeah, your server's there. full. Oh. That's too bad. I think we're at a good time for Canary right now, too. Join me. Mix, you're not on Dad's server, are you? No, he's not. I think Crash was a little while ago, but I don't know if he still is. But they're usually playing together. Get rid of this 3.3 pound line. I don't need it anymore. And I will be needing the two at some point. I'm going to go ahead and put it. Yeah, that's the red breast, I think, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. And I think I need the four. So, okay, let's go four ahead. Four is the eel. Did you got the eel left? Yeah, I've got the tyro on there. I don't need the three anymore. So there's that. Isn't two as small as you can go on the reel, though? Wait, what? I think two point two pound is the smallest reel. I don't think there's a one pound reel. No, I don't think there is. I think it is a 2.2. .2. The prologue is as small as it goes. All right, we should be good. 
All right, float fishing rig. Number eight hot dog, or a number seven hot dog. I had good luck with that anyways. On the, on the, eight marshmallow also. On the canary? Yeah. Number seven hot dog and an eight marshmallow were my ones that I had the best luck with. The diamonds were caught on a seven hot dog. But I did the gold challenge on an eight marshmallow. Yeah, I joined on you. Uh, G man. Oh, you were able to get in? Yeah. Okay. It shows you in here it. too, Dad. Yeah, I don't see you yet though. It just you said know, your oh, name you, and you crashes in oh, crashes in here too. Well, that pond you're running by right now, that's the spot. Yeah, I'm going over here to get on the island. The walkways? Yeah, going yeah, to the like walkways. Walkway. Yeah. I got mine right off of the uh, challenge dock. One of those docks in the middle there on the island. But you can get them from anywhere in there. So anywhere in here. So just... Yeah, you right there. But those docks that you were looking at down there, that's where the one of the challenges is for the uh, canary. And that's where I sat and did it. Gold canary. Eight marshmallow I got my diamond on. Yeah, we're going for the gold canary right now. Yeah, that's what I did the uh, gold challenge on was the eight marshmallow. I got my diamonds on the seven hot dogs. But I was going for red breast at the time, so... <laughs> We got three left, guys. Well, at this pace, you'll get them knocked out quick. Three left, canary, eel, and red breast. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna start targeting dimes, put whatever gear I want on. I know, it's so nice to be able to do that. Yes. <laughs> and to be able to fish back and forth between floating and bottom or whatever you want to do instead of being locked into something that's what i didn't like but i you know i i think that sounds like an awesome idea we ran this contest to june 30th now yeah this is too late for these i'm out of here do we just change the name of Angler of the Year? Like, Angler of the Year, Angler of the Year season, spring season, Angler of the Year summer season, winter angler season? Angler of the quarter? <laughs> <laughs> angler worth a quarter? <laughs> <laughs> what did you use for the smallmouth? Uh, number six frog. Yeah, for the challenge. Yeah. Angler of the spring. So would this be the spring season? Okay. How uh, would how would this? This is for yeah. spring season, and then June to August or June to to September thirtieth. Would be the summer season, and then set, and then October one to December thirty first would be fall season. So our winter season then would be January to March thirty first. So we've missed the winter season. So we're in the spring season. Number seven. Well, let's see if I can get me a dime in this little pond. I've seen so many people do it. Uh, 
Oh, so this is a diamond location? Yeah. I've seen a bunch of them caught here. And apparently in the dinosaur pond, there, you can catch a bunch there too. Yeah. Oh, that. Yeah. Red breast too in that pond. That's the problem. Didn't you say I'm trying to find bass? Trying to find a place where there's not too many other fish. Like if there's mostly canary yeah. here and I don't get bothered by the other fish. That's there's cool. mostly canary here, but there is, I think, blue kerper maybe in this. And I thought I might have saw a grass carp in here too, but I can't remember. I only fished this pond the one time for the challenge. Golly, there's eight or different the there's eight different canary carper spots. Really? Wow. Yeah, this is spot number two. There's two on the main lake. The starter lake. You got yeah. the dinosaur lake. You got the fish farm with the small lakes too. Uh, apparently oh. you can catch one where I caught my diamond tiger fish. And at the banana bridge. And north of the really? bridge. Yeah. God, there's been a lot of canary carp Wow. There's some deep water right there, too. Yeah, look at this. This is where I get a bite. Yeah. <laughs> look at this right here. There's the banana bridge north of it. Right there's where I caught my tiger fish dime. Here's where we are now. One and six on the starter lake dino lake and right here by the little fish hatchery thing it's crazy wow. eight spots it is a lot i had no idea they had that many i hate you mike there. oh it was liquid what'd you get you oh i did i got a bite right after he did that too <laughs> dang Oh, this, Crash just got himself a diamond mogul. This one's actually bigger than the last one I caught, I think. What the heck here, man? I guess I'm going to switch over to eight. Mike, eight I just marks. assumed it was you doing the fake strike, but it was liquid. <laughs> Don't get butt hurt. He's going to yeah, be like well, falsely his, accused. Well, that's his track record, man. He's known for it. <laughs> Uh oh, here we go. Ah, oh, 1.23. Where do I, where do they go gold at? Oh. I honestly don't know. It's like a 1.4 or something maybe in there. We're not getting too far away. I can't remember for sure. Does anybody have a favorite place that they like to cast here? You never pay attention to me. I know. I never say Mike's name in a stream, ever. One point. Well, you do when you're personing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Sounds like profiling to me. See, Ace always comes in here. Ace and uh, T. Herod always come in here and team up with Mike against me every time. <laughs> Good job, Crash. I was the doing dungeon. the gold line challenge. Nice, man. 1.32, 1.35, somewhere between there. Yeah, I knew it was around that. I couldn't uh, Oh, not, not, uh, nope. Blue Kerper, no Blue Kerper or welcome right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're in here. I just. They just speak the truth. You see how, you see how I uh, translated your uh, English there for everybody else. Really just a balance of power kind of thing. Oh, okay. Me against the world, you mean? What are you using for bait right now, Darth? Uh, well, I am using the marshmallow and Les has given me some very solid advice. He likes to cast All right, in the it. water. You, don't, you can't even zip it. <laughs> zip. I just put a mark. Look, all ladies and gentlemen of the jury, zip it. A. Number two, would you please back me up? Look, I'm oh. zippy long stockings. Ugh, I can't. When a problem comes along, you must zip it. They weren't biting on the hot dog. Right zip now, it so. good. From, would you please do hype in the wall? Mita hi Subtitle. Zip it. I'm just trying to. Zip. 
Would you like to have a suckle of my zipper? I want Z you. Stop. Yeah, I should Come try that. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. You know what? You're like, you're like a child. Give me the man. Talking. If you just one time. How much longer is is the stream? At least five minutes while we wait for this sound alert to go off. No, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm waiting on my wife and son to get home and we'll have lunch and watch some videos and stuff. So I, I would say 15 minutes. At most, probably. Another 15 minutes. Yep. Up to a silver. I haven't even looked at the temps. Let me see what the temps are on these things. I haven't even thought to do that Okay. Either. Yeah, it's good. I just caught an 81 degree one, and that's their max is 82.4, so <laughs> Mike, 76. Mike says he, he split, uh, went through 60K using that strike alert. <laughs> I'm not catching that. Nope. Nope. Blue Kerper, you do not get to bite. G Man. Thanks for advertising for someone else. I just caught a blue carper. There's a grass cart that we definitely don't want to buy. Yeah, I thought I saw him in here. If I don't think they bite marshmallow though, huh? Oh, this one's a little bigger. That wasn't too good. Yeah, I guess it was. It's a gold. The heck, your guy was just like rotating his rod. What? <laughs> oh, couldn't see that one. Shadows in the water. I don't like that idea, Les. Did my music just quit? Oh shoot! Oh, this one's. This could be a decent one. Could be. I don't understand why my music just stopped. Shouldn't have. Ah, it's a silver. I really hit the end of that playlist that quick. Huh. What is? One point one nine, so we're getting close ish.
lasting his gambling addiction. There's a bronze grass cart, probably. Trying to get the top level, then I can mod on the YouTube. Hey. Les, go on YouTube and type something in, and I'll mod you right now. Yeah, I need more mods on, on YouTube. No, it seems like I'm the only one in here most of the time. Yeah, everybody likes to go to Twitch. It's like, oh. I mean, we just, we got to stop the advertising for other channels. It's like, you ain't supposed to do that. I got that one. I did take it. I appreciate it. I sent, I must have sent a message to someone else. I thought I sent him a message and asked him to not be doing that. I must have sent it to the wrong G-Man. Oh, no. Probably a blue curfer. Oh, there, there we go. Some poor dude is wondering why he, why I got, get, got a hate mail from Darth. <laughs> so some random guy got it. <laughs> nine six. <laughs> How do I do it? You are modded. You're already modded. Yeah, You've had the wrench. This one might be bigger or about the same. I was trying to get my Twitch up with the Lord. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. You can hop back over on Twitch if you want. Dad's in here. Yeah, I'm trying to play, pay closer attention to the texts and all the chat. That's a tiny one. <laughs> Come on, Canary Curper. Need to focus on my live well tournament. Have a good one. All right, Liquid. See you, bud. Hey, somebody about ready to catch a, a diamond. Looks like a oh, Winchester. Very nice. Oh, caught, a, caught a big gold. I don't like that one. It's nibbling, so that's not a canary curper. Yeah, I just caught a red breast a second ago on that marshmallow. What's up, Asher of the Fire? How you doing, bud? I can't wait to get off this one pound line, man. Yeah, I didn't like I didn't like that at all. I'm just sitting here wondering 
when a diamond blue curper or red breast is going to bite and I won't be able to get it in because I'm on one pound line. Yeah, that would be a fight, especially with all those poles around you. I know. <laughs> Silver 1.01. 1. Yeah, this is probably just going to be a numbers game for you. Yep, just catch a bunch of them, force one to spawn in. Good thing is you will never know. That's true, Liz. Exactly why I got my diamonds out of the way before I did this. That would eat at me. <laughs> Something what? breaks my line. What size hook are you fishing with, Dad? I got a number eight with a marshmallow right now. Hmm, I don't think I've caught a bronze yet on an eight. Yeah, I got a little .51 pound one a second ago. Maybe I have. Or maybe I've been lucky. Yeah, you will get a lot of silvers. But that was the smallest one I think I've ever caught right there was that .51. G-Man, um, do you ever check your Discord? I sent you a direct message. I think it was you in Discord unless it's another person. Toxify Gaming, how's it going, bud? And congratulations on getting your Canary Challenge done. It came with my pack, Les. I got that group pack where you get the maps. It came with it. This might be a gold. Oh, red breast. That's oh, that's why you thought it was a gold. Yeah. <laughs> I need to catch this grass cart, and I really think I've hooked into something good. I don't think that thing. Don't red breasts normally nibble? Yes, I think they do. I, I must have missed the nibble. <laughs> I, was I know Blue uh, Kerper nibble. I've not caught yeah, enough of the. I've not caught enough of the red brush, really. I'm pretty sure they nibble. I just must have missed it because I was sitting here thinking that was a canary because I didn't notice the nibble. But I was reading the chat here, so I wasn't paying close attention. There's a 5.68 pound gold from Kicking Wing. Is he still out in that spot where we were? Because that's where he was. Yep. Yeah, he's still in that spot. I'm going to go cast somewhere else. Does it matter, really? Man, I haven't fished here enough to tell you that. I this where I'm standing is the only place I've actually fished. Oh, I did stand on that bridge to my left a little for a little bit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Appreciate that, G man. I. I remember I did the challenge here, the location challenge, and I don't think I've fished here since. Yeah, I, I really, I haven't either. I did the challenges, the location and the gold challenge I did here, that's it. I think it's time to bump up to a seven hot dog again, see what happens. Now, is that gold and above? A seven? Yeah. No, seven is silver believe it or not really yeah seriously i catch silver canaries on the seven all the time crash where i am i got my diamond well the only reason i'm here is we think that there are more canary 
here anything than there else? are anything <laughs> else. Cause where I'm using the one pound line, I'm afraid to go somewhere else because you start running into more blue carper and red breast carper and yeah, they, they snap like you them. off. Um, but I do want to look and see where you're at. Crash. Oh, he's fishing out of the same pond we are. I'm going to put a marker oh, down right there then. That's where you caught your diamond, canary. Okay. Oh, well, he's on the other side of the... I'm, I'm stepping in what you're laying down now. I see what you're saying. Uh-oh. Hold on, guys. Wait, wait. Coach is telling me to go to crash. I'm going to crash. <laughs> Coach. <laughs> uh, should I... You, did I just crash? You might have. Anytime I go near crash, my game crashes. Oh, is that why you named yourself crash? I just crashed. I think he is. I, I really do. Well, I'll try to join you all here in a minute. That was my first crash of the day, I think. He drove by me in a boat the other day, and I crashed almost immediately. So, uh, so, me, so, Coach, should I put an eight hot dog on too? <laughs> we'll try over there for a minute. Caught my goad where Crash is. That's where I'm going. As soon as I get logged in here, mine did too, G man. Something happened there that it didn't like. All right. Uh, yeah, the sun was up. <laughs> Oop. I see what looks to be a good size one swimming over to me. small might be a silver all right crash where are you at well i know it's right there is where i gotta go number eight marshmallow okay i'm on it i already got it equipped Off the dock or no? Uh-oh. Here's a collectible. Well, I got them biting on the seven hot dog again. I switched off the marshmallow a minute ago and they were starting to bite again, I know. Mix told me I ate marshmallow. Yeah, don't go against that. <laughs> Gotta do it. Gotta do what coach says. Yeah, you better get kicked off the team. Or benched. <laughs> I can't believe I'm down to three challenges left. Yeah, but then you get to work on getting on your top five. Yeah, I know. Be fun. I will say this, every fish that's bitten on my uh, bait just now is literally swimming from where Crash is standing. You're telling me to cast Ooh, at Crash's feet? Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm casting straight out in front of him and the, every fish that I've gotten so far has swam from where he is. So Maybe he's putting them in the water for us.
Here's my first one. Oh, this one swam from the opposite direction. Well, looks like it might be a decent size. Stand, got... stand near crash. Can we go rub elbows with him? <laughs> yes, massa. It's the lotion on its skin does what it's told. Hi, crash. Sorry. Probably didn't want to get to know me this good, but we're in it together here, bud. Mix told me to. Sorry if I step on your toes. <laughs> Just stand right in front of him. Oh God, Ace, why you gotta do it? Can't see anything for the grass. Yeah, that's why I don't like standing over in those, those areas. The grass carp's got some areas like that too that you can't see anything, so you get on those little docks. Does this pond have those little docks like that? I never even noticed. Oh. Yeah, right over there. Look, I'm looking. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at two that. of them. <laughs> I like those little docks, well, especially on the grass carp. I caught my first diamond off of one of those. We definitely got good water temps for diamonds right now. There's another bronze. Come on. Say it. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey. Oh, wait. He said cast to the left and stand on one foot. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, man, I don't like this spot. It had one canary for me. That kind of makes me feel the way the mogul spot was, but it was better today for me. Got two golds well, out of it. Today. Like you said earlier, though, this pond is nice because you don't have a lot of the other stuff in here driving you crazy. Yeah. Especially on 1.1 line. And I have seen a ton of diamonds pulled out of here. You know, on my server, I've seen it done. Not just from the Discord. Yeah. Gee, man, did you just get a diamond? Did he? No, he got a brown one. Okay. I saw he said on there finally another canary. I was like, uh, he said there was only one canary in here for him. Oh. <laughs> I always thought this pond had the most in this thing. Now he's like, I like his spot. It's good. <laughs> yeah. He'll change his mind if he catches a dime here. Yeah. It's the best spot ever. <laughs> I, I'm catching them nonstop on that seven hot dog, man. I mean, I haven't got a real big one yet, but I'm catching them. 
Coach hasn't given me permission to move up yet. <laughs> Got to check with Coach. Yeah. See what the playmaker says. He's, he hasn't steered me wrong yet. Now if we can just keep him out of jail. Hey, I I, I would stay. Yeah, no doubt. Huh? <laughs> I would stay with the eight marshmallow. That's what I did my gold challenge on. Huh? It worked out pretty well. I'm trying for a diamond, though. That's why I'm switching around. You know, some spots, though, you catch a diamond, but they're not really what I would consider a, a hot spot. You know? Yeah. Because, like, you don't catch a lot there, but you catch that diamond there. So you like right. it because you caught a diamond there, but not for catching a lot of fish, you know? So you wouldn't go there to complete a challenge or, like, a daily right. challenge or something. Well, yeah. right. Where I caught my canary diamonds, I would have never gone there for a challenge because of the fact that it's full of blue kerper, red breast kerper, yeah. you know, grass carp, mogul, bass, you know, everything's at that main dock. <laughs> I would never do the challenge there for those. I think Mix might have a good one on over here. Is he standing over there next or to you? Or Crash. I bet Crash has got a good one on. I, I hear him reeling it in. Uh, he might be doing the gold challenge too. I know Crash is. He he only needs an eel to get his uh, bingo. I don't know if what's a good What's a good time of day to get those? What's that? Those eel. Oh, I've been seeing them all. I mean, I got my last diamond eel was right at dusk. And then my first one I got was uh, in the middle of the night. I mean, and I've seen them caught during the day. Yeah. So it's one of those nighttime fish that you can catch at any time. What's up, Darren? How you doing, buddy? Crash had a silver. You had a silver. I think I got a silver. Got my two in daytime. All right. Somebody's tying their bobber in with mine right now. <laughs> oh, he's got a fish on, whoever it was. Oh, it might be you. You still using the duck? Yeah. I just now I just now got a bite though, so it wouldn't mean. Oh, okay. Alright, let's things are like pumpkin seeds this thing swam from way across this pond i tell you what i like about this though is you catch a lot of fish i, I don't mind challenges when you're catching a lot of fish i hate the ones yeah. when you're waiting 10 minutes for a bite right you know it's so boring and mm -hmm. frustrating and then when you do get a bite it's not the right fish yeah <laughs> yeah that thing swam from quite a ways away All right, we got about 10 minutes. I got 10 minutes to get this done. Because we're having hot dogs. Then we're going to watch some suits. So. I'll either be on again to play some, either here in two or three more hours. Or I'll wait until after supper. Well, if you wait till after supper, I might be able to play with you. But if you do it in a couple hours, I'm going to be gone for a while. Well, let's say, why don't we say about 7 p.m. Eastern? Yeah, I should be ready for that. Okay. 
I'll try to be on again at 7 p.m. Eastern. So we'll just watch a bunch of suits until the end and eat supper. And 7 p.m. Eastern, anybody that wants to play, we'll uh, we'll hop in, hop on. I'll hop in Discord with you. And I might just share my screen in Discord or something. Yeah. Now this one's a little bigger. I don't know how much bigger, but it's taking some drag out. See you, G-Man. Well, I mean, if it's pulling drag, it's got a good chance of being a goal. I don't think the silvers really do that, so. Provided you don't have like a bronze blue kerper on there or something or a red breast. This is a red breast and it did not nibble. See, I, a minute ago, remember I was telling you that I didn't notice it nibble. I swore they nibbled. It's a bronze red breast and it did not nibble. All right, good. You confirmed. I thought I was losing my mind. Remember I was told you I didn't notice it nibble and it just bit. That's why I thought I had a canary. It doesn't say aggressive. No, I'm telling you, every time I've caught one, I've nibbled. I just, I didn't notice it nibbled. But it, it's time. supposed to say aggressive if they don't nibble. Right. Well, good. I'm glad somebody else saw that because I thought I was losing my mind on that. Seventy-two more subscribers over on YouTube, and we'll be having a big celebration stream whenever the next available Saturday is. And you've gone up pretty fast on that, haven't you? Faster than what I ever thought I would. It's taken me about four years to get fifty-four hundred on Twitch, and. YouTube has just gone up really quick. Time for the one chip. <laughs> yeah, at one time I was saying that was that's a hundred thousand subscribers. We were going to do the one chip challenge, but not now that they've outlawed it. No, I don't think so. Uh, this is the Africa rod, Stevie B. Oh, what real? I'm using the prologue. So that's as small as you can go with the one pound line. Goads over where I am. So, are you ordering me over there, Mix? <laughs> Just reel in and get over there now. Stop talking back. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Out of the way, coming through. <laughs> it just pushed me in the water on the way by. <laughs> yeah. Go rub elbows with Mix here. Oh, there's a catch over here that I didn't have. Oh, I haven't gotten that one either then because I've never been over there. 25 marshmallow. Sweet. Yeah, I've got so much money, it don't really matter anymore. <laughs> Thank God there's too much grass over here. Mix, can I stand here, please? Yeah, I've got $1,328,353 on here now. Oh, I don't even know how much. Money. I've got uh, almost 700000 <laughs> And you know what's funny is I have bought like a lot of the reels. You know, you got to spend tokens and golden on. I've got like four or five of certain rim. I mean, those reels. So I got them <laughs> for a bunch of different poles. And I had to do that with the small challenges too. So I could have, you know, three different poles with the same reel on it. Mike's got two and three quarter million. 
Oster Chris says your yes. character looks like he drank too much moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> the mask. <laughs> yeah. I, I almost bought that park ranger jeep today because i don't have anything else. Crash did he got the boat and the uh, jeep I, i'm thinking about buying it because i just don't have anything else to spend tokens on but i'm afraid that well, when this I, i'm going to wait and see what happens when this souvenir right. shop comes out exactly that's what i'm waiting for because each map i got a bunch on each map and i'm waiting to see what they come out with before i start buying this yeah because I've bought so much other stuff. I've got everything else, you know, so. But I don't want to blow a chance of getting something new that they put in here. You know, if they add one to all the souvenir shops that you can buy from any, any one of them. Yeah, like that reel. I don't even remember the name of it. It's the spinning reel that you can, you know, it's the biggest one you can get now. I've got like five of those. Chief Tosher. Chief Toshe. Yeah, that, I think I got five of those. So. There's a 1.28 pound Canary Curper. That's my biggest one of the day so far. I really would have thought you would have got that gold by now. You know, I actually have a gold Canary Carper at 1.61 pounds. I got that during Tackle Tuesday. But I, Did I you? didn't have one pound line on, though. Right, yeah. Well, I truly believe if you stay at this pond and come back to this pond, you're going to get it. It may take you a couple times, but... Yeah, You're I mean, we've it. made some progress today. I mean, yeah. shoot, we got the red nose, we got the smallmouth uh, yellowfish, uh, we got smallmouth bass, we got the mogul. I mean, we've we've gotten some challenges done today. Yeah, you had to make up for yesterday. I don't think. You yeah, I didn't get a day. single a single one yesterday. Well, you more than made up for it today. going back to work tomorrow we got us some solar eclipse glasses though i need to take it to work with me tomorrow i don't know if they're going they're letting they're releasing school like half a day early for all the schools in our district oh, for the but eclipse. i don't work at, at a particular school so i don't know if i get to go home early or not i'm I, i'm thinking that i might have to work all day because I'm not at a school. Like, I go around to the school. Uh, so I might have to work all day. I, I don't know. So I'm going to take my glasses with me just in case. We got some solar eclipse glasses. I used to have some. I don't have them anymore. We had that really good eclipse back in, what was it? 2017, maybe? Yeah. I, like what? What's so special about this one? I don't know, but I keep hearing that it is special. So I'm not there, sure. I, I don't know. I, there's something more special about this one. I don't know what it is. Is there planets aligning or something right now, or I, what? I don't know. I got me a gold early on, but I ain't seen one since. And the water temperatures look good too right now. And I gotta go back to that uh, eight marshmallow.
I'm gonna try a long cast. Yeah. Guess I better long cast it over there. So I don't get caught around this pole. Got one to come over immediately. I'm gonna be a goal. Uh, that's kind of acting like a silver, huh? Bronze. All right, one more fish, and I'm getting off. Famous last words. We've been Family going made it home ooh, four hours. Yeah, they're already home uh, fixing hot dogs. Oh. Fixing hot dogs. So we'll probably do that. Eat some hot dogs, watch some suits. And then watch some suits, have dinner. And then about 7 p.m. I'll try to hop back on and play some more. Sixteen twenty-eight. <laughs> God, I look at the map and you got like ten people all in one spot right by you. <laughs> Not that many, but you got a lot of people over there. Do we know Winchester? I don't know. I've seen him out here with us. He's been here pretty much the whole time we've been. Winchester, you in the stream, bud? Are you, uh, type something in chat if you are. Oster Chris, how's it going, bud? He might just be following the crowd. Something good going on if there's that many people there. <laughs> I, uh, as I'm usually everybody's good luck charm. Yeah, I know. I usually catch a lot of diamonds around you. Yeah, <laughs> and I never catch them. <laughs> okay, who's that? <laughs> oh, this one catch sounds to be pretty good. Doing good, doing a mission. Oh, you're not Winchester, are you, Oster Chris? Are you fishing with us right now? Or are you just watching the stream? Are you on the map with us? or? Food is done. That one you're reeling in, did it run line on you? A little. I don't I don't know that it's gonna be big enough to be gold. Well, I mean, these things are small, so I mean maybe I think it's somewhere around one point four. Somebody said like one point three five. There's a one point one three. All right. Well, maybe by the time we start playing one of Spawny, and I have a feeling we'll get one fairly quickly when I start playing again tonight. Yeah, I'm sure you will. All right, over on Twitch, do we have anybody fishing? Yeah, we got Cretation. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to raid Cretation. Um, may not be PG. Yeah, intended for mature audiences. We will catch you guys uh, tomorrow. Back to normal schedule tomorrow. So it'll be around 4.30 p.m. before I'm live tomorrow. 
Not PG, Max says. Yep. All right, you guys have an awesome evening. And some of you uh, will play some more later. All right, Darth. Have a good one. All Bye, right, everybody. Later.